Alright, let's play a battle mage. We've been kind of, we've been playing dwarf so much though. But honestly, any race could work here. Play either a lizard or or elf. Elf is fine. Humans are right. Lizard's fine as well. Dwarf is nice because of petrifying touch and sturdy. Kind of want to play an elf though. Everything grows here. Tall and strong, join us. How am I defining a battle mage? Right, battle mage problematic thing here is anything can be a battle mage if you believe hard enough. So our definition of battle mage is gonna be a character that uses magic, close range, occasional melee skills. But yeah, battle mage is pretty much anything. There's so much variation in what you can do. Ikara was white, no? I feel like we've used this hair before. I'll I'm right. ready. This is irrelevant, just get whatever you like, instrument you like, scholar necessary, every other tag is optional. Now let's get rid of all of this. I start with enchanter so I can get so I can get the stuff right away. It's the only reason. Now let's pull this up. We're gonna be looking at the talents, we're gonna be looking at the uh, skills. Uh ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, we'll probably do talents first. <laughs> mm. uh, it's not up. Yeah, now it is. Alright, what are we looking at here? We're looking at the same as always. All skilled up for a battle mage early game is nice. You can spread your points faster. You can get your second tier skills faster. Late game, since we can spread a lot, still good. If we were playing Undead, for example, we could get the extra two talents, which is, uh, I mean, a pretty big help. But let's play a living character. We've been playing a few, uh, a few Undead. Plus, we could lose the racial elf, so there could be no reason to play an Undead elf. It could be better to play under Undead Dwarf or Undead Human. But we're gonna go with uh, with just an elf for now. So later on, probably we're not gonna be able to use it, but it's still good if you play undead. This is probably something you pick. 
As always, ambidextrous and slingshot, they are pretty nice late game when you don't need anything else. Again, with undead, you get more talents. It's more viable to pick them, but still, they are ambidextrous in particular is a pretty good talent. Slingshot is slightly inferior. No arrows, no arrow recovery, bigger and better, same reason, more stats. If you're not playing Lone Wolf, bigger and better is worse than Mnemonic. Mnemonic goes well at any point, but there's always better things to get. Combat Kid and Morning Person, as always, if you need to resurrect better, you actually need to stop yourself from dying somehow, so these things are not gonna help you to survive longer. Demon, mm, we don't want this. Duck Duck Goose, useless. Elemental Affinity, um, since we can use many things, many different things, any magic, Elemental Affinity could seem good, but we are not looking to, we are not looking to create surfaces and stand on them. We'll do, we'll have a Flesh Sacrifice though. So if we wanted to switch to physical real quick for some, you know, corpse explosion, infect, uh, necro skills, we could do it. Still, there's better things than elemental affinity. Mental ranger, we're not using arrows. Escapist, uh, not really, not really worth using, but if you like it. Executioner and pong. For this kind of character, is a bit of the same. This character could go on a party, could go solo. For solo, Pong is slightly better. Executioner is totally viable anyway. If you're playing on a party, uh, this could most likely be killing things, so Executioner is slightly better, because you can get the rest of the party to position enemies for you and to worry about CC and you just go in, do damage, kill and hit some more. So on a party executioner slightly better, solo pong slightly better. Far out, like I said we're not gonna be using a long range skill, let's focus on close range melee skills. So far out is not that great, but still pretty good because you benefit on your jumps, you benefit on chloroform, you benefit on many things. So it's still good, it's just not absolutely necessary like every other mage. 5 star dinner, again at 8 to get uh, the blood rose, plus 2 to all stats. And mid game or later is pretty, pretty good. You know how broken it is, potions. Uh, resistances, armor, uh, resistances, armor, uh, evasion, glass cannon, pick it early or don't pick it, level 1 or don't use it, basically. Same for long wolf, long wolf, pick it early, if you're one or two people, never pick it if you're playing on a party, because it does nothing. Guerrilla. Uh, works with auto attacks, we'll be using mainly skills, warfare skills, so not really. Hothead, 10% accuracy, 10% crit. Early game is okay, mid game there's uh, things that take priority but still still good, and late game if as one of your last talents is just more crit. I'll probably pick this somewhat early maybe. Still not sure. Asking, quite useless. Leech, uh, healing talent, we don't want this. Living armor, we don't care about this. No wolf, demonic, we talk about those. Opportunist, we are using a melee to hunt their stuff. We can pick opportunist, but like I said, there's gonna be better things than opportunist to pick. So it kinda takes like a low priority. Again, you can pick this, it has, occasionally you get free attacks, but there's better things. Parry Master, we're not using dual welding. Pet Pal, if you wanna pick it on a party, someone has to have this. Picture of Health, again, Vitality, this is only good for Unstable. Uh, Savage Sortilage, we can get it early, 
will crit uh, <laughs> very little, but occasionally. And mid game, anywhere from 8 to 13, this is when you want Sabit Sortilage. It's necessary to increase your damage, otherwise you don't you don't kill enough, basically. Slingshot, we talk about that. Stench, uh, again, useless. Especially when you're playing solo. Pong, we talk about that. Torture, we'll be using many things that can apply uh, burning, uh, poison, maybe entangle, uh, maybe suffocation, maybe acid, maybe even death wish. So we can benefit a lot from torture. Early game is when you want it at level 4 if you are gonna use uh, Entangle because it's super powerful. Mid game is a nice, nice talent. But again, depending on how you wanna approach this build. <laughs> unstable. Well, well, we just placed Unstable. We just did uh, so much damage the game couldn't handle it. So yeah, pretty good talent. It's the most powerful build. Walk it off, great for bosses, not for the player. Um, Water Rush, again, good at any point, but quite dangerous to use if you don't know what you're doing. Asking a bit of talents. Don't save anything. Um, for the skills, mm -mm 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 -mm. Battle Mage. Skill books copy, yeah, how about no? Alright. Skill books for the battle mage. What are we looking at? Mainly. <laughs> Alright, we're looking as always. Teleport and nether swap. Positioning enemies is gonna be really important for sparks. Because as we tested, Sparks is kind of inconsistent, Master of Sparks even more. So if enemies are positioned with something blocking them, even yourself can block your own Sparks, you're gonna be losing a lot of damage. That's mainly what are we, what are we doing here, positioning enemies to get lots of hits with Sparks. Medusa Head, we're gonna consider Medusa Head our knockdown for this uh, for this playthrough mainly because knockdowns use physical armor we're gonna be doing magic armor damage so the idea could be to buff fully go in and pop medusa head if we need to petrify everyone otherwise we'll be using some other stuff but mainly medusa head is the idea <laughs> We also have Adrenaline, best skill, Chloroform, best CC for any magic damage, 1 AP, super powerful. We're looking at the hybrids, we're obviously gonna use Master of the Sparks when we get it, which is at level 9 when we get to Driftgood. It bounces from testing, it bounces up to 3 times, so you hit one enemy, pam pam pam, 3 sparks. Anything else? Now we're gonna see that it basically complements the build. Well, let's look at Iro. We're looking at Blinding Radiance. We're gonna be like the idea could be to be in the middle of the enemies. So Blinding Radiance, it's okay damage for 2 AP. We hit one enemy, is bad. We hit two enemies, it's okay. We hit three or more, suddenly this thing is valuable. Shocking Touch, again. We talk about this on the Hydro Mage, on the party, because it is currently bugged, uh, Shocking Touch, Shocks for 2, so this could have been potentially a stun, single target stun, it is not, because even if they're standing on blood or water, you don't stun with this, so still, as uh, slightly, than, slightly higher than normal multiplier, and it's melee, so it has potential, but I don't see it lasting very long on this build. Teleport, we said. Uh, and kind of evasion, we're gonna need a lot of defensive uh, skills, invisibility, and kind of evasion, and Medusa head mostly. It's gonna, it's gonna be what we're using. 
Uh, pressure spike, you're gonna say that I ignore completely any range attacks, even though they're, you know, pretty good. I'm gonna make an exception for pressure spike because it's a 1 AP attack with a good multiplier, it's really really efficient, and you get it for 2 aero, which we need for teleport and uh, another swap. So this is an option to finish people off for 1 AP or to aggro enemies from far away. Although it's not really efficient starting with this, it can be used for that. Close circuit. I look at the source skills and I said, ah, this is the right build to use this. We're gonna be close to the enemies. We need high damage to break armors and start using Medusa head. You can literally just jump in the middle of enemies, close circuit, stun a couple of them and just, you know, do some damage because the multiplier is super high. It does cost source, two sources, which is annoying. We can get this early going to Hanag. We'll see how it goes. But this is a really powerful source skill. Superconductor, again, we can get this early at 12 from Lohar and crafting it. It is 3 AP. It can stun if people are positioned correctly. It does... Um, what's the word here? It doesn't work that well with Sparks because Sparks needs enemies to be close but not too close and this needs enemies to be super close for the small AoE. Still it is valuable. 3 AP skill you can start with this and follow up with something else. We're looking at contamination. Out of all the AOE attacks like ignition and uh, global cooling, contamination is probably the worst because of uh, having smaller range. It kind of it's kind of underwhelming, but I'm thinking if we use torture, it can be a nice extra damage there with the poison dot. Not sure, not sure, but it's a possibility. We're looking at the range ones, we're gonna ignore them, even though they're very powerful. We're looking at uh, <clears throat> at Entangle, Grunt Tremor. Uh, you'll notice that there's no blue skills, because basically this build is super flexible, so there's no alternative build, this is like whatever you wanna make it. So the only one that is kinda questionable but really powerful, it could be Worm Tremor because of torture. It is another possibility, instead of using as many defensive skills, we will be using this to isolate enemies, groups of enemies or something like that. It does uh, okay dots, I guess. And Death Wish, that's right. We've seen how powerful Death Wish is. But again, we'll talk about this in a second. If we're using Torture, this becomes great. If we're not using Torture, we can start with this on some enemies that don't have magic armor. Still not as great without Torture. Earthquake, 3 AP knockdown, we're not gonna do much physical damage. But still, for some fights, I see this being useful. No reactive armor. Poison Nova, this is like the same reason as um, Closed Circuit, this is the right build to use it. 2 AP, immunity to earth, immunity to poison, if we hit several people this is great, otherwise it's okay-ish at best. We're not using summons, we're not using long range attacks, nothing here. Uh, Siphon Poison, well, we can say that this is... Uh, this is a maybe, but Siphon Poison is basically like the worst version of uh, Venom Coating, it's much worse. Same as Firebrand, this guy, these things, the problem with these things, right? Firebrand and uh, Siphon Poison is that they are level 16, so by level 16 we should have Venom Coating, Master of Sparks, going, start doing damage. 
and these things, if you can pre-buff right before combat, you can get some extra damage. But using them during combat is not that efficient because you're wasting AP that you could be attacking into buffing. And it comes a point where it's just not efficient to buff so much. You're better off attacking. So if you can if you can do it before combat, they're okay. If not, they're not that great. And they come very late. So Alright, haste of peace of mind. Well, obvious reasons, best buffs in the game. Ignition, same as contamination. We use ignition if we have torture. Otherwise, it's nice extra damage if enemies don't have uh, don't have magic armor. But it's the same problem as this. If we're using Medusaid to stun people to petrify them, they're not gonna be burning. They're not gonna be poisoned. So again, we have to watch out for this kind of interaction because we can be losing damage for no reason. We're gonna ignore every range skill. I could use Supernova, but it's very dependent, very, very dependent in whether I get gear with uh, uh, gear with um, fire resistance. And we're not playing Lizard, so. Questionable using this. It could be possible, but I'm not gonna do it. Tongues. I wanna try this, see how potentially good this is, because again, this is the build that could use this. I'm not really hopeful about this. It's probably very bad, but we'll try. We're gonna keep ignoring this. Again, Firebrand, too late. And again, you can play anything as a battle mage. If you want to use this and then add whatever long range skill, you can do it. Still a battle mage. As long as you're, you know, doing melee attacks occasionally. We're looking at water, which is probably the worst element that we could use here. Uh, it's always 45 and first armor for the occasional fight that you need them or if you know the enemy is going to start attacking you with something that can stun you or you can avoid the teleports, they're good for that, not for much else. We don't want to use the 3 AP skills with uh, water. Uh, rain can potentially be useful. If you're using um, lightning stuff, if we're using shocking touch, they can go well. But again, this is the kind of skill that we drop really fast. Also, what it lowers sparks damage, so it's gonna be occasionally useful at best. Restoration, again, for a healing undead, we're gonna have a bit of warfare, so it benefits, but it's not gonna be that great. We we will have plenty of damage. If those undead happen to be resistant to fire happen to be immune to poison as all undead are. I'm thinking the three skeletons on the maze, this can be okay with uh, cure guns because we will not have uh, any way of damaging them with fire or poison, it's lightning and healing basically. We can use, again, same reason as this one, we can use rain with this, it's 2 AP, if we have elemental affinity, suddenly for 1 AP we can freeze. But like I said, we're not looking at the long range skills. This one is worth mentioning if you wanna freeze people, basically. Global cooling out of the three is probably the worst. But still, combos okay in some fights with rain. So you just stand in the middle. Cast rain, cast this thing, and let the enemies come to you. Or alternatively, you jump into a group of enemies if they're range and force them to run away from you. That's a thing as well. But we'll see. I see this being worse than both uh, ignition and contamination. Like, we don't care about the chill, we don't care about the eyes that much. We rather get the dots. It doesn't benefit from torture either, so nothing else here. Like we can make a case about Icebreaker, but 
for damage dealing, uh, water is the weakest. Everything Ooh. grows here. Not that uh, tall and strong. Not that great. Join us. From Necro is the same as the Hydro Mage. There's gonna be enemies fully immune to what we do, and they're not gonna be undead. So we need uh, we need something else. So we can potentially get uh, the three. The three damage kills from Necro plus Corpse Explosion, and just with that we're gonna have intelligence. Just with that should be more than enough to kill whatever is uh, immune to fire or poison or lightning. That's giving us trouble. Again, I'll not do much physical damage, but it's there as a possibility. Like I said, a battle mage can be anything. Death Wish. Again, Death Wish is fun to use if you prepare it before combat. Problem with Death Wish is it, does, it doesn't combo with itself because you need two Necro to cast Death Wish. So if you're playing solo, when you do damage, you're gonna heal and you're gonna be losing uh, Death Wish damage. It does uh, increase the duration with um, with Torture. So that's uh, like a plus in favor of this thing, but I don't see it. Uh, I don't see it being that good on this character. It's still we've seen with the unstable how double damage is super powerful. Not like unstable was not powerful enough, but Death Wish is really really strong. It's probably. Mm, yeah, like we talk about this, it's one of the few buffs in the game, straight up buff to damage. Like thick of a fight and challenge. <coughs> and they are much worse than Death Wish. Nothing else from here. Like I said, you can pick anything from here and still be a battle mage, but those are the ones that I see being the most useful. Uh, let's look at uh, Polymorph. Tentacle Lash, physical damage, scales with strength, we're not looking at it anymore. Chicken Claw, physical uh, armor, we don't really want to use this. I'm thinking that there's a couple fights where this might be useful, but literally for a couple fights in all games, so not that great. And now we're looking at physical melee attacks. Although not really physical, more like magical melee attacks. We're looking at Bull Rush. We, if we have Torture, Bleed goes through it and it bleeds for two, so that's pretty nice. It's a charge though, so that means that in some uh, particular areas it's gonna be buggy, it's not gonna hit all enemies, so it's a bit unreliable. It is a uh, repositioning tool as well. People seem to like this skill a lot. It's okay. It's not that great. It's okay. If you hit many enemies, that's where the value comes from. Invisibility. Well, like I said, we need many defensive skills. Uh, evasion, invisibility, and potentially entangle. Move this ahead. Our main, uh, our main uh, CC. Probably. You can get a group of enemies and with the right setup with this skill you can uh, you can petrify for four turns. It's difficult to use though, especially when you're solo. Although it's easier to control the enemies. Spider legs, another alternative for CCing. Doesn't go that well with uh, with sparks because you eventually burn the enemies and you can't in web and burn you could do that in classic that's why this skill was nerfed so much still another alternative skin graft uh, well I don't consider skin graft like a source ability because it doesn't do damage but yeah it does use the source still skin graft and closed circuit mainly what we'll be using Maybe, maybe, maybe overpower just for flavor, but probably not. Um, lower resistances, Flace King. I talk about this in every magic uh, magic playthrough. 
on theory is really nice, on practice, ah, uh, it's not that great. On practice, this doesn't help uh, increase your damage that much, because like I said, if the enemies are resistant, you need to break magic armor before applying this. If you break magic armor, you have already won, so doing more damage at that point is meh at best. We're looking at summoning, we look at elemental totem, it's a nice increase on damage, I don't think this character can afford to waste AP summoning, but I see this being useful in some situations, it's like a nice alternative. If you wanna use uh, a rain early, plus totems, plus uh, lightning staff or shocking touch, you can get a bit more CC early with water totems, but it's a possibility. Not really that useful. Charm for three, <coughs> you get a two turn uh, stun. Between this and um, Medusa Head and Entangle, like there's better things to use than Charm, but if you get your two summoning from your gear, uh, this can be useful. It's nice in some fights, but like I said, we do have many many other options on this character, so Charm is not as great. Uh, nothing else from summoning, we're looking at Huntsman. Again, we're looking at the two jumps, Tiger Retreat and Cloak and Daga. Cloak and Daga is easier to get because we'll be using Adrenaline and Chloroform, but if we can get this from our gear, fantastic. If not, we can use Phoenix Knife. Uh, I could say that one jump early is nice, two jumps mid game is comfy, three jumps is a bit excessive, some characters need the three jumps, but most of the time you're fine with two. Phoenix Knife obviously inferior to the other two, potentially, potentially. If you wanted to use Elemental Affinity plus any other fire skill, you can get more value out of this, but in this character, most of the fire skills are 1 AP. Haste, Peace of Mind, Ignition, Tongues, Firebrand, Sparks, literally everything is 1 AP. So not, uh, not that valuable. Adrenaline best skill in the game. Chloroform, best magic CC. I think I say this every time, but because it's true. So much value out of adrenaline. Chloroform is just one AP, so that's where the, where the value comes from. Most uh, most forms of CC will be two AP. Chloroform is one. Can be cast from invisibility. Can be used to break armor. Can be cast long range. Like lots of. Um, different applications, super powerful. We're looking at more melee skills. Anything that can hit more than one time, that can hit several enemies for sparks, we're looking at that. Charge, battering, uh, sorry, battering ram, uh, battle stomp, uh, crippling blow does have AoE. It's small, but it does AoE. It also has higher than normal multiplier which means if you have this off cd it's better than attacking normally we're looking we're not gonna use shield provoke is worthless we're looking at wild wing again with sparks with many enemies suddenly wild wing does more than double damage and rage uh, for characters that need as many defensive skills as this. I don't like enrage that much. You can, let's say, cover yourself when you use enrage with potions, as in dodge or resistances or armor. You use enrage, go ham, don't worry about the enemies. It's a bit dangerous. I don't like it as much, again, because you get muted, but it's a possibility as well. We should put this here. Something like that. When you get Savage Sword Tillage though, 
it has a bit more value because your sparks will crit as well. I don't know, I don't think I will use Enrage, but it's uh, it can be good. Blitz, a repositioning, uh, more procs for Sparks. I don't like Blitz, personally. I think it's just like a worst inferior version to Backlash. It's more random, it's less uh, damage for AP. It does hit twice, so you, you can get value out of uh, Sparks. Uh, we're looking at this, we're not using shield, phoenix dive, we talk about that. Thick of a fight, again, you want to use thick of a fight, go for it. But uh, it's kind of a combo skill. Uh, onslaught, if you can start a fight with this, um, proc uh, 5 sparks, this is fantastic. You can get 15 sparks for free, if you somehow hit everyone. <laughs> Uh, Blitz procs two sparks, yes. So if you hit, let's say there is three enemies. Well, I think with two it would work, I'm not sure, we'll test it. With three enemies you can get two melee hits and six sparks. <laughs> A color coding means, more or less, uh, yellow is something that we're using for sure. It's basically the skeleton of the build. Uh, green are things that have a lot of value. They are good on the build, not absolutely necessary. There are other things that you could use, but they look pretty nice. And then red is things that are not as good, but still usable. And then you have uh, blue, which is like alternative builds that you could use. This one with torture, this one if you want to use uh, death wish extra damage. But again, this build is really, really flexible, so there's not many blue skills. Again, Onslaught, 5 hits. A problem with Onslaught is that uh, it is a multi-hit uh, skill, so if you want to start fight with this, like aggroing neutrals is not going to work properly because they will get into conversation with you and suddenly you do one hit, one spark and go into combat without source. Guardian Angel, useless challenge. We can cast it for free. I don't know if we'll have the memory for this. Comes real late at 16. Again, it's a 20% buff. Uh, it's a maybe. It's a maybe at best. Overpower. We will have Warfare. I don't know if we reach 5 Warfare. But Overpower is fun to use. It's like a better auto attack. It does consume a lot of source. This is one. This is probably not what we'll be using, but still there. Because a battle mage is melee, and this is melee. But it only procs one spark. It's another knockdown. It can potentially be a knockdown, rather. That's for the normal ones. We're looking at hybrids. We're looking at uh, suffocating touch, vacuum touch. If we're using, um, if we're using torture, suddenly suffocation for. <coughs> Suddenly, suffocation for 3 for 1 AP. It's a nice multiplier for 1 AP. It does need Necro, which we might not get from gear, because I don't want to invest points into Necro at the start. But if we get the ring with Necro, this is something that I'm looking at. Challenge is 20 multiplicative. It's a bit... Uh, it's a bit... Uh, how you say this? It sounds better than it actually is. It is multiplicative in the same way that Death Wish is multiplicative. So let's say you're doing a hundred base damage, and you have a. Let's say your intelligence increases another hundred, your damage. So you're doing two hundred. Death Wish with one HP suddenly you're doing four hundred damage. You include a challenge, 
it's a 20%. A 20% of what? A 20% the same way that Deathwish goes. So that means that it's not gonna be a 20% of 400 damage, it'll be a, no, a plus a 20% of 200 damage. Instead of doing 480 damage, you're doing 440. Again, it's 0 AP, so it's technically free, you do need the memory. I just don't, I just don't like it that much, it's not... Like on paper it sounds good, it's kind of the same as this one. On paper it sounds good, on practice it's kind of tricky to use and not much value. Alright, the same way we got suffocation here, we can get vacuum aura potentially. You just precast this and jump into combat with blitz or something like that. Uh, I'm not very convinced about this. Like the damage from suffocation is pretty low, but still it does the first hit if you want to do it in the middle of combat scales with intelligence, so that's pretty nice. And will be in the middle of enemies, so there is some potential value here. We don't care about the acid, even though we can use torture, we don't care about the acid, but we kind of care about this, because it scales with intelligence, it's AoE. And I don't think I've ever used this. Problem is the two necro that again we might get from gear, maybe not. It does also poison damage. Well, it's not exactly poison, it's acid. So that's also great. We get a uh, corpse explosion. Again, if we need physical damage, we look at the three necro skills and corpse explosion. This is like an alternative if we need uh, physical damage for someone who's immune. I don't think we'll need this that much, but still it's something to keep in mind. Blood Rain, if we're using Torture, we can precast this from far away and let the enemies come to us. But not that great because like I said, we're melee, we wanna be melee. Not that great, potentially useful. Uh, Erratic Wisp is uh, useless, pretty much. Um, if, as if, aura, if this was a party, I could say, if this was a party, this could be kinda useful. Kinda. But obviously, evasion is better, like 1 AP as opposed to 2 AP. I'm, I'm not sure about this one. Like, I. Like I said, we need defensive, defensive um, skills, but this one is not as good because it's 2 AP basically. Like 1 AP for evasion, 1 AP for invisibility, 2 AP for Medusa, but it's 4 turns, and 3 AP for this, but it's 3 turns and it's range, as opposed to 2 AP for the same effect as this. So we can look at this, but probably not too hard. Uh, throw dust, again, really comfy skill when you wanna clear things. Uh, it has some uses, you can blind people. It's a long range skill, so I don't give it much importance, but it's it's something that every build could benefit from. Uh, we're looking at trap, again, we are melee, but it's uh, necessary to mention like the broken super high multiplier for 1 AP skills as Corpse Explosion and Trap. We are also magic damage, we are also probably gonna get high pyro. But still, I don't think we need it. I don't think we need it. Just something to keep in mind. No multiple traps, no dust blasts, because obviously a battle mage would not use them. Even though you can play whatever you want. Cryotherapy useless. Anything from here. Yeah, pretty much everything is useless. We're looking at uh, smoke screen and bless smoke screen. Another defensive option. Like, we already have so many. But this is when you can start casting sources. Another invisibility. Uh. 
probably late game will be using this, switching evasion for more invisibility, but I'm not sure. Uh, Venom coating. Like the priority for this could be sparks. Uh, Venom coating also adds quite a lot of damage. If enemies are immune to fire, Venom coating is the way to go as well. Uh, Venom aura. It costs 2 AP, it lasts longer though. So it's kind of uh, like a, I consider that worse because it's 2 AP. So if you can buff with 1 AP, although this one lasts longer, the idea could be to basically sparks venom coating for 2 AP, break armor, and then Medusa head to keep enemies in place. Using Venom Aura also uses Source, which is annoying. But again, it's a possibility, something to keep in mind. I just prefer normal Venom Coating. <laughs> Sabotage, we're gonna ignore it. This is useless. All infusions we don't care about. Breathing Bubble, useless. Uh, Everything Oily Carpus, useless. Tall and strong. Again, like I said, Join for us. some undead, we can use this, we'll have Warfare, probably we'll have Hydro, maybe. Uh, it goes well with this for Undead, high physical damage, but literally only for Undead. And then we look at Sparks. Uh, what Sparks do is basically gives you a buff for 3 turns, I believe. 2 or 3, I can't remember anymore. And Sparks will cause your melee attacks. By the way, fists with your bare hands are not melee attacks in this game for some reason. It doesn't proc Sparks. But anyway, any attack with a melee weapon will proc Sparks if there is a path to the enemy. We'll see how many times we'll attack enemies that are maybe next to each other or maybe I will be on the way or maybe a box or something will be on the way and there's no sparks. But again, for this character, positioning of enemies is gonna be quite important, positioning as well, obviously. So we'll see how well this fares. And again, Master of Sparks is exactly the same for uh, one source point more. And basically what this is gonna do is proc up to three times. If there's only two enemies, it can be tricky. If there's several enemies, this kinda is easier to use, but again, Sparks is inconsistent sometimes. And that's it for the skills. Mm, I don't see anything worth talking about. Uh, let me pull this down. <laughs> what could be the priority in a full party build with less AP? Uh, your priority is gonna be to let someone else start the fight. And um, when it's your turn to go in, someone can delay or something, you go in with your all of your buffs and start doing damage. Your priority is to kill things and your team should basically prepare the enemies for you. Bait them into running towards them or using teleport for repositioning. But ideally your buffs should be up and you go in with blitz or you go in with cloak and daga and start with... Uh, um, what is it called? Onslaught? You can do that. Or you can just be in the fight and buff in the fight, you lose a few attacks, whatever, as you prefer. And we are not running Supernova because we are gonna have high intelligence, not that much armor, and critting ourselves to death, it was fun with the unstable, this one is not so, this one is not gonna be so fun. Alright. This, whatever you want, uh, whatever you want. Scholar necessary for some quests. 
and the other one, whatever you want. Alright, we're gonna start with three weeds as always. Three weeds, what this is gonna do is basically make us go first in every fighting for joy, and we are not fighting anything until level three. The increase in intelligence is gonna be so low, like it's a 15% off. 10 damage is plus 1, plus 2 damage. Not that big of a difference. So early game, we worry about wits up to a point. We worry about memory, and then we can start putting finesse. We don't care about strength, even though Medusa scales with strength. We don't care about finesse, even though finesse scales with uh, fucking hell, uh, chloroform scales with finesse. And it it is something to worry about if we get good gear, like a 12 strength armor with plus 2 to pyro and plus 1 to iro. This is something that we probably want, but we'll basically play around with our gear. And also, we are most likely getting the blood rose, so a plus, a plus 2 to every, every stat is gonna be pretty nice. <laughs> the active part of Medusa head scales with strength. We don't need the shield, so don't worry about constitution at all. And intelligence is the main source of damage. So what are we starting with? Telekinesis, so looting is easier. It's just comfy for me. And we're looking at this. If we pull out the skills again, which I shouldn't have closed, by the way. Uh, 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 uh. Is not up. Now it is. Okay. So if we're looking at this, what are we gonna start with? We can start with Iro, maybe. Geo, not so much. Pyro, it gives us sparks, but eh, not really. No Hydro, no Necro, maybe Polymorph. No summoning. Uh, no. No huntsman. Maybe scoundrel. Maybe warfare. So we're looking at polymorph, scoundrel, warfare. Maybe pyro. Maybe iro. So I'm thinking that if I want to start with uh, pong, if I want to start with pong, obviously we start with chloroform, and then we can get. Uh, Warfare, we can get Poly, we can get Pyro, we can get Lightning. So we are gonna do... Let me look at the talents, I'm pretty much... Uh, gonna do Scoundrel plus something else. And this will look like this. Uh, scoundrel and... I kinda want Warfare, because Pyro is really easy to get, you just steal it. Polymorph is also easy, I'll do Scoundrel Warfare even though I'm magical. So we'll get this one, we'll get Chloroform, we're gonna get Adrenaline for free, so we probably get either this or Crippling Blow. Let's get the crippling blow. Uh, even though we are magic character, this is how it's gonna look. Again, you can start with your magic if you prefer. We're gonna get Pong. I'm looking at Hothead at level 3 for the crit and accuracy. Because everyone knows that missing with 5% is not fun. Uh, far out is a possibility. Five star at eight, most likely. Savage shortage later. Maybe torture. There's, like I said, there's a lot of flexibility here. I'll just get pong because it's what I like to use. No long wolf. Never Lone Wolf. So. Yeah. 
so it it wasn't a dream after all. Mm. Why you're looking a bit more in the you come on if we walk in my and Good gods. There's there's been a murder here. Right, I'm just getting some stuff that we need Never for a uh, few quests, which is the restoration and uh, bottle beer. So, well, you got this wolf on a leash now. As soon as the Inquisitor gets here, we'll hang you. Right, I need a weapon though. With my skills. I can't cast this with my fists, unfortunately. There's a knife here. If I can actually click on it, there's this. Chop. Chop. And this is... This is not gonna hit. This will hit. Alright, this is all so we can get into a fight with all the Magisters here. Windigo is gonna blast everyone. And I'm just gonna walk up. And walk down again. Alright, we can kill some people fang is up for some reason. Oh, I kinda don't want to attack him. What's my damage here? Too low. Now we can. Interesting. this because I don't want him to heal. Oh, fire. Okay. Okay, he's here. That's probably a bug. He's here because I didn't... I hit him when I... when I attacked the Magister. So maybe he was knocked down during the fight. I kind of want to kill them, but it's going to take me too long. I'll steal more backpacks. Right. We carry on now. Ignore the dog. He gives 25 experience. Ah. Uh, Completely worthless. Damn. That doesn't bode well. Upwards and upwards. Hey, Can you just walk in? We're gonna delay. For the sake of efficiency. As you can see, when I do this thing, there's a small tiny AOE. And they both get hit. If I delay and I can get everyone, you know, stand or knock down, whatever, and it's my turn, I can delay again. And I still keep my double turn. Uh, 
which allows me to control my CCs slightly better. If we wanted death fog for uh, for some water rush or whatever, we can phase through and get death fog. Minus Kong, which also scales his level worth 10% damage. Absolutely, Kong is worthless. Damage is great. There is there is no quest in there. Right, they are together, we can cripple, take a step back, and this counts as a stun, because they can't hit me. Delay again, suddenly I get 6 AP and a double turn. I miss, of course. Delay again. And this is what I talk about delaying. Now suddenly I got my crippling blow again. And I can do the same I just did. Take a step back. Can't do anything. Alright, we can't kill those guys because we are not undead. So just walking. One, get two. This is the weapon that my mercenary was using, by the way. Super powerful wand. Check out my HP, don't get killed here. We're using Pong at the start. Keep this. We could start with Hothead, Executioner, Pong. All of those are pretty nice. We're gonna get um, this thing. Uh, in the middle of combat, when we level up, we can get Adrenaline. If you can walk, get yourself up the ladder. There's a... Wait! Boy broken! Right, let's do something like this. Miss both of them. Why would I take battle zombie if I can knock down anyone late game? Because knockdown is not the point. The point is hitting more than one enemy for sparks. That's the whole point. Just a sewer. The one who put on this damn collar. Sounds like she needs help. I got the drowning, but we are not leveling up yet. Mm, because we are not undead, yeah. I was counting on those extra experience from up there. That's fine. Go up here, die. We need to wait! And we don't really need adrenaline early game. 
like at some point about level five or six. Short work right, let's get February. Am I Super am useful I early game. We're gonna hold on to this Seems for a sec. Something wanted me alive. Get me a ring with uh, nothing because there's no ring. There's a chunk of flesh, a li literally a chunk of flesh on my inventory. Woken. Those are the same beasts that sank our ship. Thread of Sir Laura. Uh, okay, that's fine. At level two is kind of unimportant where you put things. Because we don't start fighting until 3. So now we're just gonna get some important items, which is the shovel, couple backpacks. What's this? I found something. Uh other quest items. Uh, we got the rank, not that great. We got uh, nothing. So always don't go through the middle unless you have invisibility. We're gonna keep them there as long as possible. Man, I can't wait all day. Irma, where are you, darling? Farah, she ain't coming back. Get the waypoint here. Come on, then, Lexi. And spawn one here. <laughs> Suddenly, experience. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, uh, and scraps of metal, this? the woman is manipulating a glove-like contraption right. fitted with five long metal skewers. Six. She doesn't look up as you approach. Uh, again, we're gonna show this. I should have done it before, but okay. I'm selling everything for six hundred. Alternatively, I give him, give her this. I'm selling everything for even more money. Even though I just gave her free stuff. We got Hydro, uh, not the best we can get. Mm, I'm considering if this is necessary or not. Mm, it's cheaper, it's actually cheaper than using uh, the other Watch ring later. There. Right. Just, just because it's gonna be cheaper later. It's not gonna help me for anything yet. So this is Fort right. Nebora is gonna be the main trader the for a while. A delivery. Surely you'll have one. Leave this, this cool supply. Balls up. So paying her is is gonna give us more money. You just see how I got value out of those hundred, even though. Even though uh, I gave her free stuff, I in, in the end I got more. Faithfully busy at the moment. Uh, this is what the uh, beer is for and the restoration. So you do one, two, and uh, literally three. 750 experience. Spawn one, get the card. Get me some chunk of flesh. I got the adrenaline. I got the arrow flower for this um, Yanaman. Pick the fourth because otherwise you will probably die. Um, 
nothing. Occasionally you can get interesting loot here. Another ring. Okay. I found something. Air. We're going down here. More stuff. We see a moonwalking thing. Uh, we'll keep this. We'll keep that. I've spotted something. This is the first undestructible chest. If we are super lucky, we get a book. Um. Okay, that could have been better. Right from here, we go back and you. with twelve wits, you can see this. Oh, let me check something with this thing. Ah, uh, I got the waypoint down here. Lockpick's nice. Uh, da. Mm, let me think about. It. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Have I got money for this? 400, 500, yeah. Okay. We're getting polymorph here. We're getting a uh, plus one to memory right now. It's not the most efficient, but. It does help me get a bit more experience here and go slightly faster. Even though I'm, uh, even though the key is right here, since I've got a lockpick, uh, I'm gonna do this real quick. Uh, physical weapon, just so we miss some money. Pathing here is a bit right, fucked up, so well just be careful not to walk into the line of sight. Get the key, Please. invisibility, oh, no. just so we can get this early. Can't let them go. The extra experience helps. Now I go back here and just walk up. If I didn't have the lockpick, I could go and kill Verdas now. It's a tiny bit faster, I reckon. I've spotted something. This is also what wits are for. I'm not undead, so I kind of want to get rid of this. Looks like this place has been sealed up for a century. Book, ah, oh, shield. Yeah, I just went to the doctor and got her. Uh, got her invisibility. This is convenient because I have got a peace of mind scroll. I got 13 wits, plus 2, 15. I can see this thing and get some money early. You not. If I didn't have peace of mind, I'll come back later for this, but now it's... Uh... Now it's here for free. Still holding on to my points. I need to see what other rings I get at level 3 so I can decide what skills am I gonna be using. We could. Pardon me. We could go up for some more. Um, more chests and whatnot. I don't really care that much. 
Invisibility here also makes this slightly faster because I don't have to sneak. We can get some nails, we can get some hammer on, on the way there, we can craft some lockpicks. Because again, I am not undead, so I'll keep this a bit more. And the reason we kill Verdus is simply because right now I get three here. Swish. The Magisters certainly don't spare expenses, do they? Basically collecting money right now. As much uh as much money as I can. So I'm just getting the valuables. Which is, you know, paintings, keep looting all, grab a blood rain there, and whatever this thing is, the looking glass. I was hoping for a book there, we got nothing. Keep the paper, keep this. Uh, we got three, so let me check again on the skit. Nothing. As long as you don't steal, you can keep checking his inventory and it will change every level up. Like he's got a... Like he's a vendor. Amidst a crowd of so we're looking at Scoundrel, that's nice. The woman is manipulating a glove-like contraption fitted with five long metal skewers. And what you Where's the oil? I'll keep this. Get the scoundrel for more movement, and I am looking for. Uh... Well, we're not gonna fight yet. We're we're still getting some items. What's my second talent? Again, we're looking at hothead. We're looking at torture potentially. Fire out, maybe. Maybe five star. Five star is too early to get right now. A little reprieve from the dinner right. outside. If I had another uh, peace of mind, I didn't have to do this, but I cannot do. Get the strength potion. I get whatever is expensive. Uh, we can get first aid from here. Not like I need it. This is also why uh, why telekinesis is comfy. I don't have to break this. I just get the experience here and go back. What's this? I found something. Not fighting anything. Just walking around. Still not sure what to get, like, hothead is nice. Uh, this is the strength potion, you need 12 for this spear. Good madam, but I must crack us what I was, I never thought here. Okay. Good madam, you, you have. What? You will not walk away from me. Alright, we'll look at this. I got 1200 for helping him, 1400 for refusing to give him the jar, another 1400 <coughs> and this is his experience for being in combat and this one, you get it the experience again, I don't know if it's a bug, someone told me about that, it was really nice, because you get uh, 1600 experience more. And it's uh, well, it's a bit slower because you actually have to get the right option on fight. It's fine. More experience early makes Stay things much much easier. We're looking at the staff. This one has accuracy. Okay, good enough. Uh, I might want to pay this guy. 
because I will need uh, more skills later. So we're looking at 1.5, I believe. Yeah. Just a tiny bit more. Get me this stuff. The element is not uh, that important. What's this? I found something. Mnemonic doesn't do that much for me. Uh, yeah, more skills are nice, <laughs> but everything else is better. Still holding on to these points. We don't need anything yet. Right, so let me think about this. All right. Huh? What? And it's though I don't know. Drew, it may be before, but just so you see. I got great quest, so I'll just pick the third me. option. Finesse always myself. succeeds. Blood. Fine, fine. Uh, I'm gonna grenade. buy. I'll find more. Uh, this Another one. Way. Somehow, I have to. Just so I get more value out of this, because he doesn't have money, so I'll steal uh haste, peace of mind. And get some of the money I paid. I think this was the crate I was after. Looks like some cheese, lose some finesse. Contents, this one is for crafting, these ones are for using. Mm -hmm. Here you are. Get some I nails for free. Tell me your well, tale. twelve. We are so stice. I am. Ah, it is. The last, the second option is gonna be the ruby, which is more money. We just want that. Keep this. Uh, we can do this, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's do all of them. I'll get more later. We don't need the nails on the boots yet. Spawn one. Get restoration. Get an invisibility potion from this guy and some more stuff. We can fight Septon now. Uh, can I have one more skill for this? Or I guess I have a fire stuff now. This stuff has accuracy, so right now I got a hundred, I don't have to worry about nothing. More experience, and I am looking at this still. I kinda wanna use torture. I feel like using torture. There's always gonna be a ring here, so this one stays. I'll get a couple of shells. Because if I remember correctly, that's how you craft. Uh, that's how you craft stuffs. I got lots of things now. Can deliver the orange as well, just for more experience. Keep it there, will ya? Griff, Griff, looks like everything at a kick. Just be a snitch. Spam one, get some experience, get some money as well. Uh, let's go here. Actually, I am um, an intelligence build, so maybe we keep this. Elemental affinity. Savage Sword Tillage. My melee attacks will crit, but not my sparks or my spells. So I'm just gonna go here. Tiny bit closer, because I'm greedy. 
That's fine. We can think of getting some round and eaten by a void woken. I wonder in which order. Of getting some other skills here. I've got a I've got a socket, whatever you want to call it, a slot. So we got another point, so we're looking at this. We can get Iro for a spell. We can get Geo for Venom Coating. Potentially contamination as well. Hansman doesn't do anything for us. Hydro doesn't do anything for us. Uh, Necro right now doesn't do anything for us. Pyro, we can get this too. And we can get Sparks. I reckon Pyro is good. Pyro or... When playing a character like this, we also need to look at this. We're level 3. At level 4, I got Cloak and Daga because of my ring. That's for free. We're looking also at Medusa Head, so I need more Polymorph. So the question could be, do I get Warfare for Wildwing and all this bullshit? Or do I get Sparks, delay Wildwing and get Medusa early or delay Medusa Head, right? So I could say we're using sparks. So let's go get sparks. We also get haste and uh, peace of mind, but that's not going to be important for now. Haste is potentially good. So we're going to be using sparks. We're going to do... Uh, Memory. Yeah, I think we're getting more memory. State your business. Get whatever here. We can get butter and rum. We can get uh, another one. And we paid this guy, so we can sell to this guy and get the full value of our items. So this one I'll learn. And this one goes with uh, this. I got sparks. So we're looking at a plus one to memory, just so we can get sparks. Uh, this is looking okay. Maybe switch crippling blow for uh, battering ram. I kind of like crippling blow though. We keep chloroform for now. We'll see, depending on the fight. This is. Do not forget, it is not. I know all. We get a. Uh... We have help. We, we get nothing. If we get a skill here, that'd be fantastic. We get uh, Earth Resistance, it's a potato. What can we do? We keep the Air Essence, we get rid of this. State your business. I'm back here. So what's my talent? Still have the accuracy. We can get all skilled up, potentially, but we have to look beyond that. We have to look at how do we reach level 8 for um, 5 star dinner. Is Far Out gonna help? Kinda, a tiny bit. Is Elemental Affinity gonna help? Probably not. Is Mnemonic gonna help? Uh, where's this thing here? Uh, probably not enough. Hothead, is it gonna help? Ah, uh, quite a bit. What else is gonna help? Savage Sortilage? Probably not. Torture? Torture could help. I think we're gonna put it off. I think. We're gonna get Hothead. 
Now, uh, what level am I? 3. We'll explain this later, but for now I'll just get more intelligence, which is like a tiny bit of uh, buff to my damage. Alright, so Sparks is useless for this guy. Venom caught in procs of normal attacks, uh, Sparks will do fire damage fully. Can we get poison on this? this I have no idea. I know melee weapons works. Sweet. We're gonna keep this thing. Why is Fang alive again? Well, we should have waited a tiny bit because he's healing now. Without poisoning this, this could have been much faster. I didn't remember that Fang was here. I get some money again. Get another backpacker. Rid of all of this. I don't really want the scrolls for this character. We got a chest here. We need to wait until. That's pretty good. We need to wait until teleport. So we could go. <coughs> We could go for the turtles now. Um, you the child quiet. Oh, third option for experience. We could go for the turtles. We could go for the crocodiles. Where is she? The elf. I fear this happened. I get villain here because I snitched on Stintel and I stole from this woman. I lied to her. I get this one, two, three. We're gonna get rid of that. Alright, we're looking at these turtles. So I'm just gonna haste here. Cloth. Uh, what's happening to these turtles? They're they're transforming. Uh, we all know exploded things for melee characters are annoying. Okay, I'm standing on a tiny bit of oil. If this slows me, it's gonna be annoying, but this thing will use water. Uh, they use their range attacks, so I'm literally gonna delay. Uh, do you need villain in Act 4 for a quest? And that's it. Parks. And I'll quick save here just in case the explosions kill me. This is what we use Battle Stomp for. Mm. I'm kind of blocking one of the sparks somehow. Uh, they are dead already because this thing is poisoned. So I'm gonna conveniently move away. I get a blue, that's nice. Nothing else from here. I found something. Uh, if you paid attention, you could see that I was blocking myself with my character one of the sparks. Like the small turtle was not getting hit. 
which in the end is good because they don't explode in my face. Now we are looking at this 2.25. Oh, uh, yeah. Let me lift this here. I you give there? her the ring. Have you seen him? You have seen and you're she inspects this car. I'm a hero now. I'm just gonna looky, looky here, mate. Why the... you get interrupted by this idiot. Go. I got the sparkler, so it's a hundred gold. Sparks. Literally just hit them once. Yeah, the spark's not working great here. These two guys, though. Can go invisible, I can approach her. You can see that the extra poison damage is a tiny bit, but kinda it kinda helps. I was hoping I could break this grenade and just cause an explosion. I didn't. Right. Uh, nothing else to kill right here. We can. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wanna fight the crocodiles at four. Give me one of this. Uh, actually, no. Let's let's do the crocodiles first. This this will be easier. <laughs> it won't get me. Uh, four. Doesn't matter, I'm pretty strong. One thing I could do, while well, this crocodile is so far away, I could just stand here. Not gonna use haste. Uh, get seeing right there. Ah, too close. If you're far enough, this guy won't load. I'm just gonna delay. Range attacks will not proc sparks, but I need to use my AP. 
I can kill walking a little bit. Some sparks damage there. Not the most AP efficient, so that's why you need like one one AP attacks in this kind of situations. We don't care about this guy. I'm keeping my sparks. So what's the most efficient way here? We probably attack this guy. Yeah, because he's got more HP. Uh, 23, not gonna cut it. At most, he will get two attacks off. And crippling blow is uh, higher than normal multiplier. So whenever I can use it, I'll use it. Uh, in this kind of situation, I'm gonna die. So we're gonna just a fortify just because. And get uh, one of these, and we're fine. problem with sparks and why I just like venom coating better is because for a single target sparks is useless All right, we're looking at 1200 so I know the next fight will give me four and we got teleport now so that's great The reason these globs are so good, like un un unironically good, is because it gives you a plus two to aero and a plus one to memory. It doesn't say it, but that's what it gives. An early game, that's insane. I'll keep the movement. So instead of getting like a two crit or two initiative, you get two points in aero and you get memory for free. Alright, let's go back. Mm -hmm. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and money. scraps of metal, that's fine. Alright, what is this for? This is for. setting up this fight mm, I can't reach, that's fine I'll get up here get that there get this here and now she can't escape neither can I but uh, I don't care My buffs, super fancy stuff. Even if you didn't have the initiative for this, uh, the dog is actually the fastest in this fight. I should have done this first. So again, we don't want this for the knockdown, we want this for the sparks. 
on the first turn, we all have 4 AP, ignoring haste, so they're gonna attack me once if they move. Mm, that's annoying because I need to use something to get rid of that. Again, 1 AP attacks could be nice here. Maybe ignition. <laughs> right, and now we're looking at what's. Is it worth getting the dog here? It sounds a bit dangerous, but. I could get a lot of sparks if I put the dog right, right there. Just for safety, we're gonna put the dog to sleep, get another restoration, or maybe just a potion. Just so. Ah, uh, he might kill me though. No, he's moving, that's fine. If he didn't move and attack me uh, three times, I could die. Alright, so one, two, level up here. Do I want to do anything here? I'm gonna. You know, just back off. Let me chill for a bit, recover AP. I can't quite reach even though I feel like I should. Again, when it comes to the point that is a uh, one one, suddenly sparks are useless. Ah, right, we got four. <laughs> Lots of things we can get. Let's check rings. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and she's got warfare. That's nice. A glove -like contraption fitted with five long metal. I don't have to get warfare for the welding. I can get cloak and dagger right now. Careful. Don't so we're looking at a lot of memory investment here. Polymorph could be a good idea because of the extra hey, stat. You're a little light uh, arrow with go. strength, no. It's I know there's a warranted intelligence arrow there. armor, so Perhaps this is useless. Dwarves, so much. Cloak and Daga. I uh, should pay Hilda. Mm. No, it's too late for that. 
I sold nothing to her, so it's not worth it? now. Uh, we get cloak and dagger. Alright, we're looking at whirlwing as well. We can fight this too right now. Um, if my sparks don't disappear. So, right here. If I had met this ahead, this fight was over right here. <laughs> uh, no sparks, so in this case I'm looking at doing like an even amount of damage. So we'll hit the dog. We'll hit this guy. Not enough damage to kill them. Mm. We can probably literally just run away here. Get some cover. This is worth doing. Might die here though. Yeah. Where's my load on the turtles? Oof. <laughs> I should have saved before. My screen capture region slightly shift up. Not sure, I don't think so. I should have saved before that. I, this happens a lot in always early game that I die. And our last save was like. What is this? Uh, 20 minutes ago? Yeah, no problem. Yeah, this is what I quick saved before. Just so the two explosions don't kill me. I got lucky before and he was uh, poisoned. I mean, we're not that far behind. It's only the it's only the crocodiles, I believe. I'm obviously shopping again, which is a bit annoying. I've spotted something. It's 
Sparks proc with skills, weapon skills. Melee hits. Drop, drop that. Get rid of this. I didn't do this before, but we can send this guy once we get the gloves. We'll just have to do this real quick. I told him at noon exactly. Didn't I? You there? Have you seen him? You have seen and you're she inspects the this What of it? Look it what you glance at your run no, I kinda the same as before. Go invisible now. Just get a couple hits. Alright, this is useless. Just a little shortcut. Alright, let's see if I get only two crocodiles here. I'll do it from up here. Exactly what I wanted to do. Let me just reset this fight. Alright, we're gonna quick save here in case I fuck up again. That's quite nice. Right. I'm gonna have to do some walking around this oil. I kinda don't wanna move for this, so I'll do that. Just get some more damage in.
16 to 19. That doesn't seem correct. That was 15 damage. Okay, cool. Enemies that can't use ladders, like crocodiles or dogs. You can just, you know, get on high ground and suddenly they can't do anything. They have to walk towards you. And we can just go around. I hit a couple times. Bull rush, for example. Uh, she didn't have any money, so we go here right away. Quick save. Um, I know better now. So I'm just gonna make my life easier. This, get rid of anything that heals. damage. Uh, let me block this off. I don't know if NPCs can actually use it, but just in case. Now it doesn't have the fire arrow, I don't have to waste AP actually healing off the fire. for a good place to drop the dog. This hits, so I'll get the dog uh, right there. Surprising that they're still alive. Mm. Four. Ah, probably. Probably didn't hit with the full sparks. Unfortunate. Let me just fortify. Eh. Let's use this. And I probably dead. She just has to miss. 
Uh, she didn't. Like I said, Sparks is inconsistent in this kind of situations. Like, if I check the log, I'm probably missing a couple hits on... A couple hits on the guy that was staying alive. Let's see if this time I can actually start with a hit. Mm, not quite, this is actually worse. But I have got a plan now. Much better. It's going alright. I could get four from somewhere else. So this fight would be slightly easier. I kinda wanna get uh, 4 right here. Now let's do something like this. We got that for later. Sparks have the same scaling as Fireball. Right, that's uh, some unlucky rolls. Or we can get one of these, which I forgot I had. And just tank literally everything. Might not get the warfare one now. Thing is, early game intelligence uh, is like not a big, uh, not a big increase. But later on, it will be. But early game is kind of amidst a crowd of tiny increase. We get HP now, which is unfortunate. Is a -like contraption fitted That's what I get for not quick saving. We can still get cloak and dagger. Uh, we can get Medusa ahead, which is what we're gonna get. Hey, you're a little light in your pack, because you clearly going? we need Speaking like a some sort of got for sale around here. Why don't you take some sort of skill to yeah, CC boy. people with, and that will be Medusa ahead.
And I could buy it. Or I can check her inventory. Uh, we get a lot of books here. Hopefully I get uh, Medusa Head for sure. Uh, not uh, not Bull Rush, unfortunately. Mm, yeah, I don't want to fight you right now. So I don't have memory. I'm level 4, so I'll get one with one intelligence. Interesting, my hotbar is gonna be pretty full. Mm, we can go here. Why is Seville coming? Dog should be somewhere. Now with this should be fine. Uh, we're gonna get this right here and this one right here. Right. We don't need that. Okay, I got good skills now. I can do things. So there's a dog somewhere I see it. He should have been in the fight. So I can, you know, get the extra damage with Sparks. He was not though. I need the better stuff. I don't have to worry about um, about accuracy because I've got hothead. So any level four stuff is nice. I can delay here. Hit once. Hit twice. Back off. Now he's not petrified, now he's petrified again. And that'd be four turns of CC with one skill. Alright, we're gonna get Wildling here. Even though I can't use it. Air. No stuff. Okay, that's unfortunate. I can craft one, I guess. Poison. I wonder if it's random. 
guess it's... Something like that. Ah, uh, poison. Hmm. Unfortunate. Yeah, 12 to 15, it's actually worse. I mean, I know it's not, uh, I know it's not grim, but it's so much worse, actually. Significantly. Alright, we got four. So at this point, if we wanted to fight Dallas, this is when we do it. I am not gonna fight Dallas. I repeat myself. So we'll play the cutscene. But I know nothing of S day, but we I did you I get her over here. And while they're moving, it's gonna take them a bit. Get this leg, get some of this, and send this guy. You you the in that eye the best one. I'm gonna. What is new? I'm gonna get one of this. The lizard's brow knits together, then apart, and back again. Equip this. Get restoration. I can just do that, it's much faster. Will it be maximum pyro? Probably not. When you're using... When you're using many elements, which we might be, might not, it's actually better to get uh, intelligence, but some of our skills don't scale with intelligence, it's a bit hard to tell. Everything grows here, tall and strong. Join us. Right, where is in this? Right, why sparks on invisibility? Sparks last, last longer than invisibility, so for my double turn, I'll use this uh, just to get them with less armor. Now I get the sparks for two turns, and I only need. Now let me position myself. Hmm. For the sake of efficiency, let's use haste. Let's use this for the buff. But once I get Medusa head off, they are both dead. So basically I just need a tiny bit of damage here. Let's break that. And now they are pretty much dead. If I had a staff with cliff, that'd be fantastic. Now we just keep hitting. A bit excessive, but. We don't want to reload again. Now that I, you can see the difference now, I just, by having Medusa head, suddenly these fights are no longer a problem. Uh, a boat. I'd thank the divine, but 
We quick save. Holy it should strong. give me 18800. Okay. We made it out. You baby. No, if I'm Not five just yet. That's fine. The cat. I'm just gonna get the waypoint there. Could talk to Saliskar, get commander of the tides. But it's gonna be level 4. It scales to what level I talk to him first. So we'll wait until 6 or 7 and if we don't find the purple stuff, we'll do that. Hmm, I'm thinking now that I'm playing Elf. I should have stolen uh, Ignition instead, because here you get peace of mind from this head. But we already have it. Alright, so... I smell burning. Are those pigs on fire? Grab Chanderella. Not like we're gonna need many of them, but. Uh, lightning stuff. I'll take it. I'll just talk about that. It's Commander of the Tides. Water stuff with Arcane Stitch, but it scales to your level. So if I get it right now, it's a level 4 stuff. Since Unix in this game usually have better damage than normal weapons, I'm gonna wait until I don't find a weapon that's my level and I'll get it. Alright, we got 5. A young man in oversized armor. We got a bit of money, so we're gonna do this. His face a tight skull 300 for pretty much everyone here. And we're looking for skills. Nothing here. We can get a uh, bull rush. Uh, nothing from here. So it's relatively cheap. Alright, we're gonna do the little switch here. Get this thing. That's why I said it was cheaper because. This ring plus the spell is like 600. Alternatively, I do this, but it's about 1k, 900 when we pay Gratiana. Well, 800. I'm still saving like 200. Iro is nice. Pyro is nice ish. I'm gonna hold on to this for now. I'm not sure if I should get this. Geo. Uh, Geo uh, will give me contamination and venom coating. But the armor is the one I'm gonna get with Iro, so it's not a good idea to get this. I should probably do this first. I'm glad you're safe now. We aren't really safe here, Before we, we check uh Kerbin. So long as Gareth returns, we'll... oh, keep it out. I don't know what the fuck are they doing upstairs, but I can hear someone stomping. A grim faced man sifts through a pile of badly damaged weapons, salvaging the repair. Okay, of this is much, much better. He picks up a rapier, the blade nicked and level five. the hilt twisted. So 300 for him as well. Get this. Rid of all this stuff I just loot. 
again we can look at teleport plus two iro plus one memory much better than two percent crit chance I equip this uh, equip that we don't care about bleed fire we aren't really safe here are we so long as Gareth returns you will be I think it's a family with children. It gets really annoying in the mornings. I feel better. You no. Alright. Get the reward, which is money basically. Alright, let's look at this. We get another level. Let's check rings. We got everything we wanted from here. I killed the patrolling guy, so for now we're okay. We can see there's hostile enemies, magisters. Crowd of screws, we can say left for your the woman is Huntsman is -like contraption fitted with five long metal screws. Right, we're looking at this. Uh, yeah. Get me this, get rid of I kinda wanna use this. Kinda don't need it though. Right, let's go back here. Right, five to six is relatively straightforward because we're gonna get a lot of experience here. So we're looking at memory or wits, or both. I will need 16 wits at 6, so let's do wits. And uh, now, memory or intelligence. Intelligence still not that great. For this fight, Medusa Head is literally all you need. Void Woken, we meet again. Oh, wait, uh. Okay, I'm not gonna do it. I should have poisoned my stuff, you know, for that extra tiny bit of damage. Okay, that's good enough. Get uh, right about there, met us ahead, and wait for them. You will not be spared. Your time is up. The vermin. Hang the thieves. Ours. Ours. You are our many. More of them? These beasts are damn persistent. Oh, uh, we're gonna delay here. Just those five? Okay. Let me do something like this. Hopefully, we're all 20. Delay again, just so they get a bit closer. No sparks, huh? Feels like a bit of a waste here. Uh, let's do something like this. One there. One there. I've got one AP. It's a bit of a waste. It doesn't matter. Soften them up without killing, and this should be now enough. Nope, 
another round. I don't have to worth her. Unfortunately. Now let's get me this ahead. We are the beginning and the end. We will return. But yeah, this is like the fight where Wildwing just be fantastic with sparks. If only I hadn't died. I'm considering if we need something else. At 6 we get another memory point, or memory slot rather. They can keep calling us uh, I got sparks, we'll so let's do down. something like that. Something like that. I don't want to do this. So we kind of lose a lot of value from Sparks. So now, Sparks. This fight in particular, but just this build in general, Mithis ahead is pretty good. Find you? Find whom? Whose voice is this? Hmm. Okay. <coughs> We're looking at the experience. 13k to go, so we're just gonna go back here and kill some Magisters. This is under control. You don't gain AP while well, you're knocked down. So there goes my plan for this fight. Hopefully, Nebora doesn't join. Oh yeah, hot head. Unfortunate. 
Just for safety, I'm gonna do that. I don't wanna lose my haste. You have to be full HP to get the benefit from Hothead Which is something I was not counting on right there That's why I missed Now let me get some extra poison before we start fighting Undead That's nice Oh, Nevora's fighting. Okay, I'll just finish this right away. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps Hands of metal, nothing. the woman is manipulating a glove. I watch your... uh, we got a couple of magisters here, same story. Gang, I could buff before this and just join the fight before my shit. Or we can just do this. Wild Wing will be pretty nice here. Another super good potion. The longer we go, the worse it is. But for now, like, uh, how much is this? 200 or something like that. 180 is pretty good. We still have to put our next point, which will probably be Warfare. Um, I can go without this for a bit, just so I can get wits now. State your business. I see. Oh fuck! I already had it. State your business. No armor. If only it had uh, something. Six or three. Uh, this is three, six is blitz. It was her, wasn't it? Is it better to scale magical or physical? Don't think of the whatever you're playing. Here I am. That's kind of a weird question. I 
I'll just get money because my stuff is pretty good. Get them closer. Bye bye. They don't have to die right away, I just need to do enough damage to break their armor. worse rewards than a pitchfork. I'll use this simply because I have nothing on my armor. Get rid of this. Alright, we're looking at 23. We can go to the frogs. I kind of want to get rid of Medusa head, he's, he's not in the right place. Something like that. Amiru. I still have no helmet. pretty much anything here. I don't know if they're dead, just in case. I lose AP. This is a lightning staff, by the way. So I'm barely doing any damage. what I said in some fights this is actually gonna be useful for the knockdown it was useful with the worms as well I uh, will get this uh, this is gonna be for crafting sparks I guess master sparks hmm. 
26k is... We're just going a bit slow here. But we can chill. Right. The frogs are gone. And so... It's gonna be everyone else soon. Missing one HP, that's why <laughs> I don't have the extra crit, I don't have the extra accuracy because I am missing I'm missing one HP. That's fantastic. Yeah, I wanna kill Sahila here. I do want to kill everyone else, so... I get them close for crippling blow AoE. It's a bit hard to say. Uh, this probably hits. Nah, it doesn't. So he lasts fine. I can see through your lights, but you're blind. I just wanna loot, I don't care about her at all. Alright, uh, we get pretty much nothing. Other than money and a bit of experience, which is the most important, honestly. Uh, we'll get about uh, 2k here, very close to very close to six. I want to steal the invisibility potion. Regards from Griff. Uh, she appears dead in Act 2 and alive in Act 3 if you have Seville and Act 4 if always in Act 4. Like, she's just weird like that. Hmm. I wonder about this. Can't quite reach. I can do this, and do I get rid of the fire? Now I can just take a step. Where's... oh. It's on the wrong slope now. Talk to him. Thank you. Check Thank his inventory. You and kill. Still fortified, huh? Could have waited a bit more. Good. 
good thing is I'm full HP now, so I know I will not miss this kind of attacks. No way. I uh, was missing ignition. Um, we don't care about all the others. Like even though we could use them, let's not. Uh, missing a tiny bit of experience here, like 600. So I'll kill a couple people and that's it. Same with this guy. I hope you love Because I check his inventory friend. once. Its chimes help you find. He will have the previous bell, books. My friend. So I it's check China's again, and now when I kill him, he stops moving. If he stops moving, he'll have, uh, he'll drop me the new books, which I only really care about. Uh, Entangle. Uh, Entangle. Um, maybe. No, I already have a book to craft uh, Venom Coating Or I actually don't, hold up, this is for Venom Coating Am I gonna do Entangled on Torch or huh? That's a good question I'm not sure yet Well, let's kill this guy No. Uh, I mean, just a tiny bit more damage there. Ah, uh, blue ring, that's interesting. Alright, let's check what we got real quick. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps of metal, <laughs> the woman is manipulating yeah, a glove summoning like is, uh, fitted with five long metal skewers. Not what we want. She doesn't look up as you approach. And what you after? Yeah. Okay. I'll. Who in their right mind would think of a thing like this? I'll take it, I guess. We keep Hydro for later. I need a uh, Scoundrel. Hmm. He works the damaged rapier, trying to straighten the blade. Uh, six initiative, fire and socket. Absolutely brilliant. We can get free strength and enhancement. Not like it's gonna do much, but... It's better than like a white helmet. I have nothing right now. I'm gonna hold on, not poison this one. Strength from Medusa. Oh, tiny bit. 20, 23. 21, 24. So, yeah. One damage for Medusa. Uh, Pyro, maybe later. Go. You, who are you, and what do you want? Warfare and finesse. <laughs> Initiative finesse. I'll actually get this one of these, one of those, one of those, and a lot of potions. I will keep this. We'll keep those. Uh, Get me one venom coating here. 
You. Yes, this Who is stuck to this, yeah. And what do you want? Get contamination, get the running coating. So contamination can go up here, uh, six, seven. Ah, uh, that stays there for now. Uh, it starts, we need 16 here, we got 16, we can get more memory for maybe pattern run, maybe bull rush. Not sure if I need one more memory or not. I want damage now. Maybe when I'm coating. Yeah, let's get one memory, one int. Just so I can use this. This is not the fight where I want to be using Venom Coating. These things are actually 50-50 to fire and poison. So I'm doing half damage right away. Not the best. Uh, phew, not the best prospect here. But whatever. Uh, Thievery too. I could keep my previous stuff, it's not necessary, even with low damage you can do pretty good on this fight. Just remember, as soon as they lose the armor, this one is slightly problematic, as soon as they lose the armor, they are dead. Because I have got Medusa ahead. Uh, I mean, Venom Coating is nice. As for this, uh, we're looking at Iro eventually. I'm gonna hold on to this point, that's too early. I just get here, and we're gonna do our whole, you know, buff everything. Anything more than two buffs is way too excessive, but whatever. I am your death. Uh, the question here could be, do I use Chloroform because I have one extra AP or not? Um, it's probably a yes. I am death and light. I eat the source inside. We have one that's not... Well, it's untouched right now, but... I am the scourge. I am we can get something light. here. Uh... Yeah, we're gonna buff the sparks. No armor anymore. It's too far. Yeah, these things are actually annoying for Medusa head. Because I need to be super close. If I move now, I'll get hit by an attack of opportunity. That's why I have this. Alright, hopefully we can kill the range one as fast as possible. This one is gonna go around, that's pretty good. Let me delay here. I'll take a couple hits if I have to. I delay again. I am the scourge. I am the light. 
This one is probably pissed off. Let's do another opportunity attack. That's fine. I'll take it. Another turn. And since I still have sparks. Tiny bit more damage. We can delay here. Wanna see what this one does. Invisibility is up again. A bit too far, huh? Not the best. I'm wasting a lot of AP here, but kind of want to set up for this. Miss because I'm not gonna. I'm not full HP anymore, which is annoying. Finally, I have a uh, one into Necro. We can just do this to make sure I don't I don't miss and I have the extra crit from Hot Ed. Just do nothing for now. We're gonna I buff. Am the rage that reigns. I am the sky. I am the sky. I am the light. I am the light. Uh, haste instead of attacking. Take a single step here. Who's alive? And you can see that, despite doing half damage, still pretty good. I am the scourge. I am the light. I want to take another hit, so I'll have to jump. <coughs> I could have delayed for another turn there, but Chloroform is back. And now we'll do something like this. Three attacks should be enough. Maybe two. Walk to me. Walk with purpose. I am okay. We get uh, sense your presence. another of these physical so potions here. So very near. We get a few items. Mm. No handsman in there. I'll sell that. And this one might be useful for tactical retreat. I already have one handsman. I can learn it early. And then get rid of it. Uh, this is, I think, the first purple item. We're hoping for a staff, armor, maybe helmet. We get a staff, that's pretty nice. And a fire room. What strange keep witchery this one, is keep this? this one. I'm actually a living character for once. I, I should be crafting a couple of these because I already have uh, one thing HP and this one won't cut it again. If I keep losing HP like that, so we're gonna get uh, a few of this, another one of those, just for safety. Get hit by Careful. the trap. I've spotted a oh. trap. I'm doing this way to get the waypoints. Get this for later. I 
We could go into the Brackles Tower, but I lose loot if I do that right now. So I'll stand here, get the waypoint, go down. We can get Blood Rose right here. Uh, okay, just oh, walk through the poison, please. Two February. Just grab this and get out of here. This is gonna give us a plus one to all stats, and when we get to eight, it will be a plus two. If you're playing on a party, whoever needs the stats the most should get it. Surprisingly, many times that's the support. Ground in the middle of a swamp. But you can do as you want. Ignore the dragon for now. Uh, I get more memory here. So either ignition to have a 1 AP attack or this one. Ignition seems good though. Now let's do ignition. We can also get bull rush, but I think 3 attacks uh, soon will get battering ram. Another waypoint, like uh, we got a chest with another <coughs> with another purple item. It does count as a weapon attack. Uh, it's gloves. Hmm. Kinda wanna keep this room just to have different colors. Enraged, unlikely to use it, but we never know. Alright, we go back. He works the damaged rapier, trying to straighten the blade. One, two, three. He works the damaged rapier, trying to straighten the blade. And pyro, no initiative though. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it. Not good enough. Uh, crossbow. The 5 star dinner plus 2 only works, works as long as you have the 5 uh, the star dinner. Once you take it off, you go back to plus 1. Hello again, child. Please come back. What brings you here? Uh, Cliff, oh boy. Lots of cool things to choose. So the one I have gives me initiative, which is gonna be important for the dragon and the demon. So I need something else right now. We can get Cliff with water damage, or we can get a tiny bit more damage, even though this one has the room. It's a tiny bit more damage because of the pyro and the intelligence. So it's a question of do I want just higher damage or do I want a cliff on my normal attacks? I'm not sure, I'm gonna get it. Oh, not that one, this one. Uh... Smoke right, we're gonna get our uh, not this. We're gonna get our uh, Iro books. Come back. Right, so we get a choice here. I'll use. I don't know. Let's do the water for now. Go back to start. Uh, maybe this kid has something now. <laughs> still nothing. Holding on to my point still. Because right now I'm pretty good, like uh, if I wanted to, if I wanted to, uh, I could get uh, Huntsman 2 for Tactical Retreat, I got Hydro, I don't have Necro though, which is, could be a problem, probably not. I got Iro uh, Scoundrel 2, Warfare 2, and soon we'll have Iro 2. Mm, that's fine. Get some experience, get some loot, and hopefully this uh, chest right here will have a, 
a plus one to aero armor. That's what I'm hoping for. And it is a plus one to scoundrel, which is not what I wanted, but I'll do. Alright, this guy should be running here. He's gonna load anytime soon. Right there. Come on, come on, come on. Come. This way in the back. Follow me. Chest there, probably nothing good. I'm gonna fight this woman. Uh, water, fire, we can do higher damage because I don't care about cliff. We could get rid of sparks as well, but whatever. Need to hit there a couple times though. I mean, she's got okay items, she's got a fancy bug. Okay, let's wait to my next jump. She never wants to talk. That's because you're a human and she's racist. If you're any other race, she actually wants to talk. Uh, there's a nice spot here. Now, Almost perfect. Teleport me to that mossy right rock here. across the gulch just by the torch. You're almost there. Okay. Where I can grab this guy and teleport him immediately here. Let's wait for it right now. Because I got cloak and dagger. Let's wait for the queue. Thanks for the help. And good luck getting yourself out. I don't know. I don't know exactly the moment, but there's a moment where you can just attack and get the experience. Otherwise, if you wait too long, he starts running and it becomes annoying. And what do we get here? A lot of uh, Iro, so we're gonna get. Yeah, this one maybe, this one for sure, and this one for much, much later. We get an arrow on this. I'm gonna hold on to it. Because I need another... Another arrow soon. I could get from the free point I have, but... Let's wait for more purple items. See if I get something good. For this, we can switch to Cliff. Don't know how effective it's gonna be though. Alright, there's uh Yeah, we're gonna do this like the easy way. Because there's too many enemies. Alright, I'm waiting for this guy that's patrolling. You can see him on the minimap. Just waiting for him. Try to be close so he doesn't, you know, deload. Alright, let's go. Delay. Wait for him to get closer and kill. For this guy in particular, it could be better to get the 
the other stuff because it's more damage, but I'm creating a lot, so that's good. We go up, even though we're fighting with Paladin Cork, we're gonna just make it easy. There's another one right there, she's patrolling as well. While she's coming this way, <coughs> I'm gonna loot a bit. Thing. That's enough. Twenty four. I lost my venom coating, or this could have been enough. Right, that's two less enemies on this fight. Much much easier to keep Cork, Cork alive and not and not you know make a mess out of this fight. It's gonna be a bit difficult to get my to get all my buffs. I might need to redo this. I'm not sure. So the idea is I will buff here, jump right there, need to get a good position. Jump right there and teleport uh, the, uh, the Magister boss into this too. One, two, three. It's all on cork now. I'll join in a second, I'm just looting. Too powerful. Could use this one probably. I'll let him get the frag. And I got five nails. I should get a couple more. About ten should be fine. That's good. Hmm. Fight down there is quite difficult for this build, I could say. So I'm gonna go kill this. Hmm. 
We can get a lot of sparks in there. This much is clear. Source Problem is, one of them is gonna be it resistant to be fire, weak to water. Speed. The other is resistant to water, weak to fire. I don't have. I only have fire and water, so. It's a bit difficult to see what's better here. Yes, your source will be gone, but your sacrifice will be gone. So I'm gonna get hit by a couple of grenades, probably. That's the cliff right there. <laughs> Very rude, these people. Uh, I might die if I delay, so I'll have to... It doesn't matter, everyone dies. Bit of a waste, but these guys can hit from far away. I just drink one of those to keep hot head. Sparks. This thing clips. Mm. I don't have teleport. There's no need to do this other than for extra damage. One step back. Everyone's still petrified. We get a physical room here every time. Necro, I'll keep it. Mm. I'll probably keep the elemental ones. Physical is useless pretty much. It's 
next one will be interesting because there are so many enemies it's kind of difficult to to basically control this fight I could get another arrow use this and uncanny evasion I kind of don't want to do I want to get here and kill people That was not that was not great. to everything <laughs> it's a good thing I'm cleaving because now we can hit a few of them Unfortunately, I can't stay. It's way too dangerous for me. So we're just gonna come back in a second. Still not talking to Saldascar because my stuff is pretty nice. Let's wait until 7. If I don't get anything, I know I have a warranted stuff in there. That's at least gonna be okay in damage. I wonder who did this. Enemy with no armor, huh? It's not like it takes much. Uh, Windigo is super resistant to fire. Lucky for us, we've got a nice water staff. Even though we can't use the cliff here. Come here. You won't come between us again. She's got a lot of armor though. 180. Uh, I don't think three hits is gonna be enough. Nah, no way. way more than this no frost armor which is great for me Attacking. 
Damage from Venom Coating doesn't need Sabbath Sortilage, it can crit. The Magisters aren't the so only if you're using a rogue, this actually but increases in damage when you backstab. We'll keep this. Uh, February, eh, maybe. If we run out of money on Driftgood, we kind of wanted that. I've spotted something. Ice fan actually useless. I kind of want to sell before before this. He works the damaged rapier. Sound money. Bonny barn, now don't you cry. The birds Hello are again, child. Go. Exter always has way more money you. than everyone else. And what do you want? He doesn't identify though, which is annoying. <laughs> Nothing else. And this is who knows if it's useful. Hello again, child. What brings you here? Strength Huntsman. Um <laughs> Probably not, we already have a helmet Smoke with that. Screams, go, echoes of death. Oh, let's organize this a tiny bit. Please come back. Right, we killed this one. I reckon like the best way we can do this is teleport this guy here and hit everyone over there. I'm gonna try to get up there. Sure, he wanted to defeat the black ring. He wouldn't have wiped out all that land. Can't reach, huh? You can fake an itchy, no problem. Uh, that's fine. I right, get this guy here. Get sparks right now. This one is gonna be problematic again, 30 to everything. As long as I break the armor, we already win. So even though obviously it's not gonna put her to sleep, I'm doing damage while I'm invisible. <laughs> Alright, sparks and venom. Take a step. So many colors. Uh, we can't really hit them both. So we're gonna wait for the silent monk. I think this is enough. Mm, yes. Uh, 
And there's a couple of these guys here. But... They don't stand a chance. As long as I don't miss. As long as I don't miss. I mean, we can do this right now. Okay, halfway to seven, we can keep this. Thievery, I'll get the plus two later. Mm. Oh, we go from here. These guys, I guess they're weak to fire, but I'm liking the cliff on this thing. Alright, so if we can get... Oh, this head has wings, I don't care about that. If we can get right about there, no venom coating for obvious reasons. I'll take a hit here. As long as I don't lose any HP, we're fine. Because that guy has Wild Wing and I don't trust him not to attack me. Mm. Pretty sure if I stay there, he uses it. That's a satisfying crunch whenever I use Crippling Blow. Alright, get a couple feathers, they're always here. Everything grows here. Tall and strong. Join us. I could go here and get uh, I get some money over there, but unnecessary right now. Thinking if I should buff, probably just with sparks. I wanna see if, uh, oh, let me test something. We know there's an invisible enemy over there. What if I hit, uh, not this, uh, this one. I got hit by Cam before, while I was invisible. It was like a really weird thing. Mm. Let me 
get out of here. This kind of fights, if I wanted to, I can just get rid of Venom Coating, get Bull Rush, so we get like a like a hit in there, but it's not absolutely necessary. You can see how Sparks is pretty powerful. But we are looking at this, we found this, that... Uh, 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 this one, this one... We've killed Silence. We can do the arena, I guess. Just so I can use the plus one to int amulet. We will rejoin our comrades. Yeah, we're gonna do the usual just this uh, sparks because it lasts for a long time you come to fight good as you will oh uh, you come to good just pick the first one delay and we know what's gonna happen dog moves this one jumps hits me once this one moves maybe encourage and this one hits me with fossil strike. Not sure who's most likely to survive. My arrow now. Well, that was easy. We could loot uh, around. There's a couple of chests and the sarcophagus, but you may get a war. That's not gonna be anything interesting. <laughs> I'm waiting for sparks again. Day brings us one step. You cannot away. hurry the one. Patience I'm the only one with the guts. I deserve the glory. Mm. Not sure. This guy is useless. I'm gonna get this guy.
Was that the crit? Didn't show. Anyway, the idea is break their armor, use Medusa head to keep them in place, and keep broken sparks. You see damage of lots of different colors. Very beautiful. It's really you. No money. <laughs> Get rid of the color. Get a tiny bit more damage, I guess. There is this guy that I want to kill. Where are you, darling? She's gone, Farah. Gone. Because he gives experience. Everyone else doesn't. It's not always the case, but most of the time, if they have armor, they give experience. If they don't have armor, they don't give experience. Not a hundred percent foolproof, but most of the time, it works. You'll notice the crits quite often, that's because of hot head. Which is a nice increase. Occasionally. What's happening with Cloak and Dagger? It keeps disappearing from my thought bar. Right, that's like the perfect position for this woman. You just need... Uh, right here. Winter will last this so maybe more like a probably not. We'll see. Alright, this woman if she's going outside I'll kill her right away. Okay, that's perfect. I'm guessing she's resistant to water.
Yes, crit. She's got the lightning stuff. Oh, it's not her. Who's got the lightning one? I think it's this guy that has like a lightning wand. But someone does over here. Anyway, my stuff is really nice. Uh, let me go up there while they're together. Ah, uh, unfortunate. I can put her together with them, I guess. Let's just do something like this. Worth some more rations, please. I like how the spark goes to this guy. Uh, lots of things here. Uh, let's ignore everything except uh, tactical retreat, which is this one. Oh, there it is, the lightning one. I started with warfer and scoundrel, warfer skill and scoundrel for pong. Pretty convenient. He works the damaged rapier, trying to straighten the blade. Oh, he's not going to have money for this. What's the best stuff in the game? The not sure. Us. You're safe in bed. Hello again, child. So close your sweet what brings you here? We'll see later what I end up using. Gareth, please come back. Go. I'm gonna keep, uh, you know, frost armor just in case. You, who are you? Probably for the and dragon. What do you want? Uh, I'm gonna get one more of this, and that's that should be it. Right, we are 84 percent. So we should have, well, we should have gone to Tromdoy's cave a long time ago, but we are going now. So switch to fire because they are resistant to water. Get rid of venom coating for now. Also, I should be using this. I never remember that I have it. And um, we can get... Maybe, maybe this, maybe that, maybe enrage, maybe peace of mind. Lots of things that are interesting. Uh, enrage should go here. 
Not sure what to use. Hey, hey, you. I'll I'll live in rage just because. Quite the vision, aren't I? You should go before you get home. Can I trust the guy who makes main character male elf? You know? Why HP? Trondoy, all Trondoy has is uh, 15 initiative. So by this point, you should have 16. Oh, I got a plus one for the Blood Rose. Let's think about this. What's the alternative if not enrage this thing? Didn't I tell you? <laughs> Kinda need. Oh, I'll switch to this. When I get my nails. Running away from this guy, he's gonna use global cooling. Why is he coming all the way here? I'd like to know. Hmm. Interesting. I want a quick save because if I delay here, oh, he's coming for that guy, huh? Interesting. I thought he knew I was here somehow. I'm tilting. Fucking soothing cold is not gonna make me able to use uh, Medusa Head. Just chilling for now. Can I knock back without breaking the armor? If you mean knockdown, no, I can't. Oh, they're leaving, huh?
This will be interesting. You get experience for each of these three and then later on for all the clones. Nice sparks. Good thing though is that teleport does physical damage, so you can do that. This guy though is not gonna... Mm. not gonna get knocked down. Hmm. I wonder. These guys cannot be frozen, but petrification is fine. They do take a bit less fire damage because this gives resistance. But what can you do? It's only four turns of uh, CC. Almost seven. Mm. Kind of, uh, it's kind of worth going back and killing something real quick. Uh, let me think. Yeah, let's go here. There's a few fights that are we're missing here <laughs> inside the dungeon and well, basically in the dungeon. We've got the dogs, we've got Niles, and we've got the um, Master and all the slugs. So I'm gonna kill like three silent monks, get seven, shop, and then we finish uh, Tromboid Cave. Because I'm so close, it's better off. I'm better off doing this now. Get me some of this. Okay. Okay. There's uh I know there's like a force field here where projectiles cannot hit, but I don't know why crippling blow is missing like that. Really annoying. These guys dodge, but while they're, while they're petrified, they cannot dodge. 
all while they're knocked down. If I actually knock them now. Mm. Cripple also removes dodge. <laughs> How do I switch to physical damage? I'm not doing the physical damage. This is fire. One more. Battle Stomp and all the Warfare skills with the staff, and it will do magic damage. It's a very confusing question to be fair. I'm just using a staff and Warfare skills. Alright, 7. Let's check for better stuff. He works the damaged rapier. Trying to straighten we got the poison, useless here, we got uh, the same as before. We'll probably keep the one with fire if we don't get anything better. Smoke and screams. Uh, why do I have this? Codes of death. Gareth. Hello Please again, child. What brings you here? Uh, they're pretty much the same. Go in our Gareth would know what to do. If the enemies don't have physical armor, they get knocked down when I use this. It doesn't matter what kind of damage I'm doing. It only matters if they have physical armor or not. And what do you want? You're safe in bed. So close your we can get Commander of the Tides now, but the problem is Trompoy resists water. I, I only... exactly what... <laughs> what you said there. I only use the skills for the Yeri to hit more enemies with sparks. I don't care about the knockdown. Like, it's a nice... it's a nice addition sometimes. But it's not why I use the skills. Uh, Smoke and screams. <laughs> Reckon we can get like a. Yeah, we can do this here. Get this fancy robe. Get rid of this. Get a plus one to aero now. Get a plus one to memory now. And we can start using uncanny evasion. Well, I use touch skills like second touch. Ah, uh, I could. It's just not efficient to use it though. Like, I don't get. I don't get a stun normally there. So I'm better off just auto attacking. We're gonna hold on to the second point. We can do intelligence for more damage. And we're pretty good right now. I would like a level level seven stuff, but uh, I mean this one is pretty nice already. Ain't and pyro. I mean, damage, damage. You can judge it. Do you listen? Practice. First one. I listen. So second one. And we get experience. <laughs> so 
one will be interesting. Okay, nice quick save here. I'm just gonna buff. Open your eyes. Time to die. Wasting his turns there. Just wanna get some damage in here. Dodging 80% because I'm flanked by statues somehow. Show yourself. I wonder where he is. Right, this is quite dangerous, but I'm gonna delay. He's gonna shock me, he's gonna freeze me probably. Or he's actually gonna attack. Which is waste of his turn. I don't care too much about the Medusa now, because I've got the invisibility soon. So just finish them off. Ah, uh, this guy survives. I think I blocked my spark. Yeah, there's a, there's a spark missing there. Hmm. Should be fair enough. My damage is magic damage, even though they are melee attacks. Now let's get this guy. I wonder. Medusa head is up. Maybe. Reveal yourself. Waste his attack of opportunity while I still evade. <laughs> I wonder. String car. Uh... Oh, that's perfect actually. I need to get out of here. Are you confused? Or do you always look this dumb? Oh boy. 
Lone Wolf is really powerful. Like, there's many reasons I don't use Lone Wolf. It's not fun for me anymore. It's just too powerful. And also, getting Lone Wolf early solves a lot of the early game problems. Like, I don't have to choose, I don't have to care about gear, I don't have to choose what skills to get at what point. It's literally one point into everything and you're good to go. Suddenly, you have all the memory you want, all the damage you want. Everything grows here. Tall and strong. Now let's reset Join this us. fight. Alright, the point of this is to kill the first wave. Sa uh, he summons the second one, which is easier to kill. So I can basically hit them one by one. Last cannon at least has like the downside of you know getting uh, the CCs go through your armor. Lone Wolf has no weaknesses. Alright, we're gonna ignore the boss. It is unfortunate, but they are underground. It can happen, it's like a visual bug. They're supposed to be there. I'm gonna have to buff, jump in there. Mm, not sure if this is enough damage. We'll see. <laughs> one has no armor and the other one's knocked down. I wonder if he gets petrified down there. He does. <laughs> I can't hit him with my sparks because he's down there. Should be dying very slowly. Everything grows here. Tall and strong. Join us. Really annoying. If they were they were up here, I could just teleport straight there and it would be much easier. But everything I do is AoE, so it's fine. Awakened, thank you for the raid, mate. How was your stream today? This guy's curse, so weak to fire. We can yes. Yeah, we're fine. I was thinking, I was wondering why I'm not using all in. I don't have all in. This is a full solo playthrough, and it's a uh, guided playthrough as in I play through the game explaining why I do the things I do, what I could do different, and basically showing off uh, an archetype so to speak. 
And this is a battle mage. Again, only important to break his armor. As you pick you so chest here never has anything good. Uh, I kinda need my chest right now. If we were any other kind of caster, this is nice because of the crit and wits, we don't really care about that. Uh, earth damage can be good, I'm gonna keep this. I have played pretty much every build that this game has. Maybe not sabotage, but that's more like a combo thing rather than a build. I I'm as long as the I break the jar, get an item. Uh, f -f 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 -f. Summoning is useless. Uh, finesse is useless. I already have initiative. My gloves are potentially already have the two arrows, so potentially I can switch my gloves now. Just loot, uh, I'll loot everything. Have I done a telekinesis chest build? I have done. Uh, shamefully twice, because I wanted to test some stuff. It's really boring after the first time. Look at that wand. It hums with but it doesn't require source. stats, so... Keep the wand, keep the four yards. We'll get to that in a second. Keep the lightning potentially. And switch this for venom and this one for teleport, which I'll I'll keep. We can get rid of this finally. Crit and wits. This is useless. The dead. Mm. Don't know how to raid builds, anything is broken in my hands, so... It's fun to play though, so it gets that extra. Uh, still quite far from 8. Hello again, child. What brings you here? She's you entered the vault. You don't understand. You see By um, a mad. I just give her the jar, and that's it. We don't want anything else. You. Who are you? And what do you want? You. Extra doesn't identify. Smoke screams. Echoes of Dello again, child. What brings you here? Please come back. With some enhancement, that could be interesting. I might keep it. Everything else is useless. Go in our Mardias. Please, Armadia, bless and protect your humble servant. Mm. Tactical retreat I can get right now. Even if I'm not gonna use it, at least I get it out of the way. I, how's the situation looking? This is Dong. This fight's over here at Dong as well. Everything in Fort Joy except the dungeons, which I forgot again. And we can just walk in and kill everything. Uh, probably probably cliff for this how many of them can let go i i go on speak that's why you hit so not much to say here just get in hit everyone
Uh, okay, the lure is still alive. I kind of want to heal him though. <laughs> Yeah, get up, my friend. It's also some sort of bait for the ranger. Pong, I mean, like I said, for solo play is much better, or at least I consider it much better because you need uh, you need to reposition yourself and the enemies. He's doing great. It's a uh, build based on sparks, so whenever I hit, I still have my buff. Whenever I hit, there's a spark that flies, in, uh, that flies into someone. Uh, it's about hitting several enemies with my sparks. As you can see I hit this guy, this guy gets hit as well. <coughs> so anything that's AoE, it's pretty nice. One HP. The color white in with you. I will meet him later in a couple days. Uh, basically, just get enough wits to go first. Get uh, a bit of memory at the start because we need uh, plenty of skills. I already went there. Never mind. And everything else into intelligence. If you're using a staff, your damage scales with intelligence. More initiative. Alright, dogs. Those dogs sound out for blood. Uh, we just use haste here. Kinda wanted to use uh, ignition is really good here, but they're not gonna be burning, so it doesn't matter that much. Get the only ones with armor together, and we can just do this. Oh. Thought I had more damage. Just take a step. One of these. So we can ride in same with this. I had scales with strength. It does a scale with strength. Where is it say? It says right there. Damage is based on level and receives bonus from strength. All, all polymorph scales with strength, which makes the flavor slightly weird. But yeah, it is correct. And like all, like all earth damage, it does scale with you. I haven't tested it, but I assume it does. If it's consistent with everyone else. And this game and consistency, well, you know how it goes. Unfortunately, I am not undead, so this dog is gonna have to die. Just getting some money from here. Just releasing him gives experience. The dog's tail. I should probably be using the fire stuff for this kind of thing.
new bugs every now and then, yeah. Sparks itself is not consistent. But oh well, it's powerful, so who cares? Smell. Flesh not Get some money. Oh, uh, we're gonna finish off these guys from before. After that, we're maxing intelligence first and keeping our wits high enough to go first. That's how it goes. I know the initiative of pretty much every enemy in the game. Right, can I get a cripple here? No, of course not. How much initiative does the teleporting crocodile have? I have no idea. For most enemies you can just do this, 13 wits, 13 initiative, and that will be it. I assume 12 or 13, something like that. That's what most enemies in Fort Joy have. 10 to 13, like dogs are quite fast. Where's my sparks? Look at these beautiful colors. So many different colors of damage. <laughs> How's it feel to go through million explo two billion explosions to this? I don't know, damage is damage. Two billion or 25k. Right? It's the same damage. Bracus dies. Alright, we got, uh, what is this? We got a Tusa's leg from before, so this That's creep doesn't attack right ago. away. Mm. He reaches out. Mm, please. What he Ask if there's anything else he wants. And if I can actually click where I have to. Wow, first try. Fantastic. Get this guy away. These uh, golems are also resistant to poison. Well, are resistant to everyone or everything in general, but poison and fire mainly. You can cripple them and knock them down, and they can't reach you. He's gonna enrage or something. Don't really care. Sparks are useless when all uh, 1v1. This is not enough. Just for safety. And this is a crit? No crit. We could fight all of them. This one is very easy to pick off. But it's also the cage where I'm gonna put this guy. Remember the smell of his skin anymore. A hundred percent intentional. He's got dialogue for being there. But I'm gonna get rid of this guy. I'm gonna get this. Sorry to buff here. Ah. 
And now we're good to go. I just wanna get these two together. So something like that. Let me get the sparks. Let me get haste. Which is mostly what you need here. Sparks is convenient because by the time you finish casting, teleporting and whatnot, Sparks is almost coming back. I don't miss. Don't wanna hit the cage. Yes, a uh, second character, like despite what people say about Lone Wolf being super powerful and whatnot. A party is more powerful. Like you have more options, basically. Physical party doesn't have many counters, but still. Uh, I mean, I'm a physical solo character doesn't have many counters. Six. But I could still say that a party is more powerful. It's just easier to play. This is what I evade for. I keep my evasion, just bait their opportunity attacks. I could switch to the mm, to the yeah this one. Cleaving one just for a tiny bit more damage there. I could do this. Like take a step back. Tiny step back and cripple them both, well they die, <laughs> but I could just take a step back, cripple them and be safe. A nerf lone wolf could get double skill points and worth it, yeah, before I could say that lone wolf was way better because, you know, 30 warfare was easy to get. And then 20 plus scoundrel. We can fight this guy one on one, no problem. Come, come, darlings. Time to die for Papa. Twenty <laughs> one? Yes. Last cannon was always powerful, is that Lone Wolf was even more. So it kinda people didn't realize. Alright, easy fight. Get me some more money. Uh this is my stuff. Get rid of this, get rid of that. We get love potion. And I think that's the dungeon. Uh did I loot this? Yes. I kind of don't want to play classic because my computer for some reason shits itself. Like, you remember in Arx, like 40 FPS or something like that. Oof, that's not... I, I still get FPS drops nowadays, but obviously not as bad as back in classic. Classic as in non-Definitive Edition. Before they they released Definitive Edition, Everything Classic is what here. we used to play. Tall and strong. Join us. This is the wrong one, right? Yes, fuck. 
every time. Firing class. Ne necro firing classic. That's why the Voidling fights is such a meme, not only because it's difficult, but because it ca it can crash your game back in Classic. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of this, let's get one of those. Class is more stable if you're into GM mode though. Oh, I haven't played GM though. I know some people use them, use it for their campaigns. Which I find pretty cool. But I haven't tried it myself. Balanced damage. Well, I'm obviously over leveled as well. Can I reach there? I think I need for out for this jump. Oh no, I don't. Okay, fantastic. I was gonna jump there, but uh, oh, this is much better. Again, even though I'm doing magic damage, because he's got no armor for him teleport. I can knock him down. Let's just wait. I plan on streaming BG3 as soon as it's possible. If I get the early access thingy, that'd be amazing. But we have to wait. Uh, quick save here because I can actually die. 44 crit. Okay, fantastic. Back off as much as I can. Well, I prefer element for my stuff, huh? Not really. Normally I would prefer lightning. But in this case, it since it's, it's gonna be my main source of damage, as opposed to when we played Hydro, that I want lightning for the synergy. Like, I don't... I don't think I want any... Any element in particular. Like, I don't I don't see it basically. I guess if we get fire we benefit from whatever points I put here. I'm just gonna wait. If you can do it without glitches, it's legit. Everything is legit. If it's in the game, facing through walls is legit. Completely intended by the developers. How are you gonna get the death fog if you don't, right? Alright, something like this. Yeah, this guy is actually resistant to fire, he's a pyro. That's fine. I could switch to another staff, but I mean, I should probably switch. This is doing 50% damage. It's not like I do much more, but... Just a tiny bit more.
I'm in the video. Uh, it's not many times. Uh, main tips for new players could be if you're playing a party, try to stick to one damage type, as in everyone has magic damage or everyone has physical damage. That's like the easiest way when you start. It's also, I guess, yeah, it's the easiest way to play. Uh, try to Everything have an idea here. of what you're doing Tall with your characters. Strong. Like, this guy is an archer, this is a mage, this guy is a whatever. And try to stick to it. Just look at if your character does elemental damage, lightning, you want arrow. If they do earth, Geo, if they do Hydro, uh, sorry, if they do Water, Hydro, if they do Fire, Pyro, and any, any physical character wants Warfare, even if they're a Necromancer, even if they're a Ranger, even if they're a Rogue, that's what you should max, max first, so you can maximize your damage. Everything else is just putting points into skills, which early game is pretty important. Um, stats wise, just get one stat of the three damage ones, as in strength character, finesse character, or intelligence character. Hybrids in this game with this don't work at all, it's just you don't have enough points. Even if you're playing Lone Wolf, it will not be enough to make it proper. Um, I'm not sure what else. Like teleport is powerful, invisibility is powerful. Is she resistant? Why am I doing so little damage? Hmm? Constitution is uh, pretty much useless if if you're not using a shield. If you're using a shield, you need constitution to equip the shield. It will tell you how much you need. Usually 10, 11 at 3 or 4, 12 at 6, and then up to 14. So you should only have, like, at most 14 constitution. Uh, another purple item up there. Just look. Get the boots, get a uh, crossbow, which is useless. And I don't know, just explore. Try to fight enemies around your level. Like a single level difference is gonna be super uh, a super big difference. So just try to do fights around your level. Some fights around your level are gonna be insanely difficult just because of the enemy's positioning, skills and whatever and some others they're gonna be super easy. It's just how this game is. And then you have memory which you just get memory depending on how much you need. Like I need plenty of skills early game so I got uh, 15 memory which is quite a lot early game and then wits you, you should have only on a party only one character with wits at the start which is the one that's gonna start every fight usually not always but usually your support How to roll trader items. Uh, yeah, just wait one hour, level up. Where are they going?
Are they actually going for Gareth? That's so annoying. Okay, let me reset this fight. I don't want them to go to Gareth. Yeah, we all know how what's gonna happen. Fifty, fifty, eighty. Okay, they literally have no armor, so I'm going in. One, two, and sparks should be enough. I could get venom coating as well. Uh, let's get rid of this venom coating. Have your bones notched and souls ready. There could be void woken nearby, or more seekers. Hmm. Who's got armor and why? Okay, we're fine. In my mind, which class is the most balanced? In my mind, classes are not balanced, and that's what I like. I, what I like about this game: every class can be broken. Look at these beautiful colors. Most broken for starting. Just play a physical one. In the flickering of the heat, he thing about Necro is that it's relatively simple to play if you know about a few mechanics beforehand. So if you don't know about crafting books, you don't have course explosion, you lose a lot of damage. If you don't understand uh, how armor works right away, you don't understand having a good place. You don't understand why a necromancer is gonna use a melee weapon, at least at the start of the game. Knowing the reputation of Bracus Rex, we should tread gingerly. Oh, uh, not quite. Before you feel the. I mean, I'll repeat it again, the best class is Dwarf and clearly the best stat is Constitution because that's how you reach the most damage. If we follow that logic, again, Dwarf is the most powerful, but we all know that there's lots of uh, variations in this game. Oh, I forgot to grab Source. <sighs> But really, you can play pretty much any build with human or elf, they will be good. Lizard, meh. And dwarf, meh. Uh, the thing about the unstable build is, without the bug with uh, the crit, it still does more than half a million damage. So it's... Uh, is this fire?
the men. So you dared? Why would I hope this brings that it is not? Besides, that after she moans, it's just wait until she gets tired. Persuasion. It is the god, and she kind of dies. You need 13 wits for this, though. You can get any persuasion or zero persuasion and 13 wits. Necro, uh, I'll keep the ring. Unstable is the most powerful bill in the game in terms of damage. It's also really weird to play it. Look out! I see a trap nearby. Pig. Okay. Alright, we're just gonna trigger this fight. We're not actually gonna fight him. If you're playing on the lowest difficulty, I think you get a scroll, uh, not a scroll, you get a skill for free. And it's literally resurrection. Otherwise, you can get a level 16 necromancy that kills you and resurrects someone else. Getting closer, very close to 8. Another power spike, I'll get 2 more skills and a lot of damage. Need to kill something though. Ah, uh, this guy will do. Is he resistant or what? Oh boy. Mm, if I had ignition. But I don't. I'm doing so little damage to him. Okay, cool. It's not enough, I'm missing 600. I'm wondering what's happening. Why am I missing experience? Hmm. Mercy. 
Oh, I see. I see what's missing. Switch to water here. Uh, let me sell first. Oh, this is too many things. If he works the damaged rapier, trying to straighten the blade. Uh, Wits is kind of nice. I don't need so much initiative. I kind of prefer to have crit. Right. He doesn't have that much money. We're good. Hello again. If I don't get uh, stuff, what brings you as here? soon as I level up, I'll get Commander of Tides. Just so I have something Go better than what I have right now. Right. The birds are asleep. If I get something Hello, good out of this, Child. though. What brings you here? The seven will show us. You're safe in bed. Uh, maybe for later. Dodge is nice. Useless, useless, useless. Ah, uh, this one's nice. And this one is low level. Unfortunate. Screams. Echoes of death. Go. Gareth. So we keep this, more crit, uh, we keep this, this is a maybe, because I need 10% dodge for uh, uncanny evasion. You, who are you, and what do you want? Nothing interesting. No. Shift click for adding to wares. So, one, two, three, one, two, three. I, I am missing the slugs here. So Sparks is kinda useless here. Blah 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 blah, we don't care. If I can get this fight one on one that'd be fantastic the fiery slug this this uh that's fine sound is kind of broken here uh she does get the water immunity 50% from minus 50 to 50 but uh, fire stuff doesn't do damage so that's what I have to use should probably use venom coating for the real damage So annoying. Ah, oh, let's use this preemptively. Now that they don't have the aura, I'm doing three times as much damage with water, so they immediately die. Ah, we got eight. Eight is gonna be five star, and reload immediately. You hear that? Because otherwise, it doesn't work.
Do you hear that? Um, for this, we'll check hit. in a second. Let's just finish this. Not quite. I wonder if this is enough. Yes. Uh, we got two more from eight and from the blood rose. So we'll get that in a second. The bizarre creep. That's all slacks. There's nothing else to do there. He works the We're looking for a staff right now. The blade. Something that keeps up with uh, the enemies. He works the damaged rapier, trying no. to straighten the blade. Not really. I'd rather get the crit. Hello again. Child. That's what mine, that's you? mine. Nothing good. Uh. Go in our mind. Echoes of death. No, no. Damn. You. Who are you? And what back. do you want? Wish Bonnie Barn, now don't cry. <laughs> Alright, it's time to get this. The hooded man, a bit of perhaps I only precious wares, are they not? Alright, we can wait until 8. This will be level 8. I already have that. I can cure one of the curse pigs to get another merchant. Yeah, you can get feather, but I don't wanna. I don't wanna pe get pet pal, and I don't wanna get any of the companions. So, if you're in a party, yeah, that'd be recommended. I don't have cliff with this, I've got a bit more damage from the staff and a bit, uh, quite a lot more from int. So, you see my damage 24 29, 33 41, and I'm not buffed yet. So, 20 initiative is literally perfect. We can get peace of mind now, and this is how it's gonna look. We can switch. Uh, Maybe battering ram for one of these, maybe for enrage, but this is what we're using for now. Uh, can I use tactical retreat and why? Oh, I'm still using this. Right, that's why. More crit. I lose finesse, I lose huntsman, completely useless to this build. Huntsman not so much. And what I'm missing now is basically damage. So everything into intelligence. So if I wanted, seeing as my damage is many colors, fire, poison and water. Oh, I thought it was a flower. Uh, the best way to get damage is simply to get polymorph and intelligence. Because otherwise I have to split between Pyro, uh, whatever I'm using, Hydro and Phenom Coating. With Intelligence I increase Sparks damage and I increase my skills damage because they scale with Intelligence. Like you can't see, like at lower level is probably a tiny difference, like really tiny. But later on it's, uh, it actually matters a lot, it's like a big percentage. 
Yes, for now Polymorph for extra stats. Later on we'll change that, most likely. Eventually we'll get uh, more Pyro for Master of Sparks. Right, we got 8, let's see Gareth. This is what it looks like now, 23% crit, pretty good, 25 int, it could be more probably, but um, 21 widths, uh, that's too much, you only need up to 20, or possibly you can go down to 15 if you wanted to use peace of mind constantly, but anyway. <laughs> 180 armor, huh? Alright, so we are using this. Sparks. Venom. Lots of buffs. That's why I don't really like about this build. I wonder though. Didn't want to go so far. Is it possible to beat the game by using spells for one and three? Uh, should be possible. You can beat the game without skills, so yeah. I think there's only one time you actually need to use um, Bless after the Lady Vengeance because it's the way to progress, so I don't even count that one. Nice. Nice! Look at Gareth being useful. Is gonna hit me? Is he not? <laughs> it's gonna hit no one for some reason. Your courage is your name. I get. I get. I. Nothing from here. Whatever keeps the most money. Um, get close because this waypoint you need to get very close. Now let's go from here. We can go see Radeka, I guess. Are my eyes fooling me? I should have probably yeah made this explode before. Just 
so I can come now. Ah, uh, Protonist, I don't think I will get it, but it's a possibility if you like it. Alright, just so you guys know, Radeka has 115 or something like that initiative. Super, super high, so there's no way you go first on this fight. She's also kinda resistant to everything. Just wanna make this fight uh, well, interesting. I just need this. Probably not this fine, but whatever. Don't lose my haste. Radeka is clearly black range, she's got the same model. Find some damage in there. Ignore the explosion I just hit myself with. I kinda wanna use healing, but I can't be some decaying. I wanna kill these things, but I don't really don't really have the damage. So if I wanted to stay on this fight, I can drop this, I can get a potion and somehow kill these two. Alright, so we'll do something like that. of this which is a bit risky because I can't move anymore I'm one of that uh. I do f have 500 armor mostly worried about the that I'm immune to shocked because of this so we're fine I'm not full HP. Uh, okay, I'll do it in the next turn. because of that. Still immune to shocked, so we got that going at least. Oh, 
Alright, I need uh, this or I will get stunned. That thing. She could shock me, I guess. Oh, I need to stay there. Hold on. I need to stay there because of Medusa's head. Hmm, that's fine. Give me some healing. Why is that guy not sleeping? Oh, because I move. Shackles, huh? That could be dangerous. get one of those. Let me get fortified just so she doesn't teleport me. Oh yeah, she's got a lot of magic armor as well, yeah. It's gonna be interesting. We can go invisible if we wanted, but the problem is if she decides to attack herself, I might have a problem. So I'm just gonna haste. source for this so I can't recover armor right now but shackles is ending so I can just go invisible Huh? Hopefully I don't miss a couple times. How do we do this?
gonna craft another one of this. She doesn't do anything, fantastic. I should probably, you know, just heal so I don't miss. That was kind of difficult. We already have the blood rose, we got this wand. Uh, three purple items. We got a ring, might be good. Intelligence and hydro, we don't care about wands. We use quite a lot of resources, but still, we're fine. Alright, this fight. Hmm. This fight will be interesting. Let me just get uh, Hydro. Because Venom Coating is useless. Oh, let's get uh, Healing. Healing. The stone guard. You are not you, you make the Alright. We're gonna do this the legit way, I guess. Not because I want to particularly, but because you get the good reward if you do this the legit way. So we're just gonna go in here. Buff a tiny bit. The gargoyle. Bring me this. Now we're pretty much going to break this guy's armors. Get this guy over there. And wait a bit. So one of these guys has lots of physical armor, the other has lots of magic armor. I could use this, but I lose strength. Oh, sorry, strength. Uh, haste here. So I'm gonna do something like that.
57 exactly. How convenient. Because they don't have magic armor now. Oh, sorry, physical. We can kill this guy. We can put this one to sleep. Not really. Not really, because he's got peace of mind, so we'll use adrenaline. And then this. The problem with necromancy is that there's a summoning in this game already. So the summons you can get from necromancy, they scale with summoning, not with necromancy. So it's so it's so weird how it works. Ah. Let me just get up here. You don't need to bless this guy. Nothing interesting. Wait for the tick. Get one of those. The only difference is that you don't get the portal here. We're just gonna... I think use uh, first aid in the end, huh? We're just gonna use our jumps. Another purple item here. Stuff, nice. Probably not better than what I have, but there's a maybe in there. Another skull crumbled to bits. Careful! I've spotted a trap. Another skull crumbled to bits. Now that the path is open, you get here and you get the reward. The stony you. Which is another purple item. Oh, this one is nice. Two scoundrel hydro int, that's also nice. It's uh no, not this one. It's a choice whether we get two scoundrel and hydro or more create the initiative. Like this one seems really good for later, so I'll get it now. Another Purple item here. Another globe, so. Uh, this fight is very, very simple. Drop these three. Which are the ones uh, where Tromtoy was. Haste and adrenaline is all you need. As you enter the room, and a weapon you without cliff. Blah, 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 blah. And we fight. One hit. Farewell to flesh. Two hits. Farewell to flesh. My eternal thanks, young one. I'm time of death. Three hits. You get experience for killing them in battle, and you get experience for completing the quest, the 420 there. If you break the jars at the same time, like with a AoE or with a weapon with cliff, you don't get the 420. You can fight once normally, kill them all three. 
you get the experience from combat and then outside of combat use the jars to release them and you get the 420 as well it's just that this way is much much faster you only need to attack three times I'm hoping for some paper here I don't know if I will need it though another purple item helmet is super nice everything at this at this point we're hoping for uh, either water uh, as in either two hydro or two pyro for our helmet what happens I don't lose anything if I lose the strength because of the blood throws need to go in huh there is a zombie here you put it there and there is a trap there you wait I don't know how much is this 20 seconds at most nah, not even that 15 and it kind of dies. We're just looting now. Teleport. I didn't talk about this. We got one. One like this when we were near the docks. Uh, I'm not going to use it. But you can craft a mind maggot grenade. Charms for four. It's really, really powerful. I don't feel like using them. So I'll not use it. Teleport. Scroll. There's always one there. We also can craft a couple more, which is what the feathers are for. The air around us. There's always two feathers conveniently there, and you just need a couple of uh, air essences. So we can do it now. We got four, huh? Let's teleport. You can go here and just craft all. Chain lightning 13 strength for this one 18 for this uh, ho, ho, ho. I don't know if I got a plus 2 from somewhere Strength here This is 200 No I, can, I can't reach here. anything Toys It's helmet toy. It's Bracus's what is it called? Gloves. But I don't really I don't really need them. It's just more money, I guess. There's traps in here. I'm just going out for a source. Because there's a puddle there. And we're gonna sell. Let's keep chain lightning. Uh, fire potions. Those will be nice later. I can make this work. He works fast, checking weapons to see if they're battle ready. He thumbs the edge of a blade. It draws blood. He grins. The blade is. Halfway to nine. The man has abandoned the we'll get so nine fighting the worm, most likely. Now. And all of this. My eternal thanks for Gratiana. This is a debt I can never repay. Which identifies ah uh, nothing. He's here to take us home. Uh, it has a socket though. How good is this? Mm, not good enough. It's level six. This one warfare to hydro. We can use this. Two Wits, Constitution, more crit, it's nice. Two Huntsman and Geo is fantastic. Alright, so that's what we're using. The well, we'll do it later, when we get 9 for better items. So if we were to do the well now, we get up to 5 purple items. It's gonna be belts and rings. 
if we wait until 9, we're gonna get them pink, which are gonna be much better. Uh, let's get rid of Geo, let's get rid of Huntsman, Scoundrel, Hydro, get this one, and we get this one. So what's this gonna give? Look at my damage, 37. 41 to 50. It's a 10% increase. It's significant enough because my damage comes from this and sparks. So more damage, more good. More crit as well. This is nice for a team because of the two leadership. The young man has abandoned the map, so Not so much for a solo character. Thank now. I will craft uh, either a vacuum aura or Bless the smoke screen. Uh, <laughs> not gonna use chain lighting. Blah 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 blah. And we send Gareth and the Seekers. Go here. They're here. We're missing the dragon. Which is uh, interesting. Right, I'm gonna get not enraged. There's Simone here. Uh, she's gonna get me frost armor. Did? Just as a precaution for the dragon. So the oh. thing is, I said at the start how fortify and frost armor we get from scrolls. If you can cast it for free, like I can, why not? This is, there's some sort of pig in the way, you can just kill it. If you if you had pet pal, this is a trader that has very good items. But I'm not gonna bother with her. The pig died. Alright, let's look at this. What am I using for the dragon? Medusa head is not gonna be good. Unfortunately, because he's got permanent soothing cold. The dragon rakes the earth what that means is that Medusa Head is not going to be able to petrify, so we get rid of it. And we look at his uh, resistances. I can't use this stuff, so we're going to use uh, fire stuff. We cannot use sparks, so we're going to use venom coating. Again, my damage is not gonna be great, but we'll manage, I guess. We are gonna get rid of teleport and switch to this, so it's only a 3% chance of hitting me. And I think we're good to go. The dragon has 19 initiative. So we can go like this, no problem. All right, quick save in case I die. This will be long. Oh, I don't want to fight there. I don't know if I should throw a cocktail or something. Come on. Aggro. Not this. Um, frost armor so he doesn't freeze me. He can still try I guess.
should be using this, I guess. <laughs> this will take a while. Plus he does recover a lot of armor with Soothing Cold. We are doing great. So what now? I don't have evasion, I don't have invisibility. Should have some items to help here. Just gonna make use of my venom coating. Uh, we can look at this. I got another of these fancy potions. I should probably be using this. Am I immune to frozen? I am not, so I'll get another one of those for some extra armor. And now I have to survive three attacks. We're good. He can still hit me with Wildwing. He's recovering while he waits, so basically I'm not doing much damage to him. Okay, I got uh, Venom Coating, so Evasion, Venom Coating, Frost Armor. Nice crits though. We can put him to sleep. Still waiting for cloak. We can do this, just to make sure he keeps taking damage, and now I need uh, something else. We have fortify, we have this, so how many is this? Uh, probably.
I'm a bit scared of getting hit by Wellwing, so I back off slightly. I kinda wanna get this. Just because I got Venom Coating and we do more damage with it. Again, dodge. And um, Frost Armor to avoid Frozen. Still a 3% chance of getting hit. Which I'm surprised it hasn't happened yet. That's how chance works. Probably be using more with uh, ignition more just so I can get him burning. Mm, he doesn't recover as much armor. I don't have torture, it's the fucking habit. So used to having torture with ignition. Ah, uh, he should be dead here. Hopefully we get a uh, nether swap. We get infected. Bah! And this is trash, we don't want it. Switch to my real stuff. Again, frost armor occasionally good in this case, so I can cast it for free instead of wasting scrolls. Alright, there's a <coughs> magister up there. Uh, this is teleport, and this is supposed to be sparks. <laughs> Slang is immune to death fog, by the way, so you can't just. Oh, I don't have Medusa head. I should be dead here, right? I delay because with uncanny evasion you can get double turn of evasion, you can get three turns of fully invisibility. It's that kind of thing. Plus, it allows me to control my CCs better, my CDs. So that's also pretty nice. What are we missing here? Let's get rid of that. Let's get this one. Something like that. Who's there? <sighs> I don't really want to fight this. Uh, let me do something like that, just so I move. So he's not uh, in a bad position. 
I might go into combat now. Don't. Why are you looking at me? Come on. Okay, that's... Nah, that is... I could kill her again, but it would be really tedious. Like, the dragon now was way, way faster than what killing Dalis would be. Alright, this guy usually is here. I wanna move him so he's not uh, he's not in that position because there's gonna be enemies spawning and this way we can fight them like in groups. Right. A young magister Stop! Stop Rose! Fail this. He sidles blindly beside the I, I can't let you take your He continues to grope toward you. Uh, we beat him back. I have He pulls a pair of shack. Wait, do you hear? Alright, here we go. Uh, she's got... Oh, that's interesting. We can do that. <laughs> I'm gonna prepare... Sparks. We are three on this fight, but there's two more enemies over there. The whole point of this is to fight these two first, and then the others. I rarely see the enemies use this for movement, that's interesting. Maybe he's trying to hit me as well. No, I will not fight Dallas on the ship. We'll probably just block the entrance, use two teleports, and wait. Don't really want to do that fight. Well, at least I get full AP for my for my double turn. Not looking great though. Erratic Wisp is a curious skill. Pretty bad though. Okay, here we go. I wonder if they have Chicken Claw. When's the last save? Before the dragon. We're quick saving here just so I can delay safely in case I die. Enemies with low armor, we know we can knock them down. Uh, 
Living is quite annoying though. I'm bleeding, I can't keep hot head. So ideally here is where I back off, heal to full. Everything grows here. Tall and strong. Join us. Under dead. Bullrush bull rush scales with your weapon uh, damage. I don't remember exact the exact amount, but it's like a 70-75%. Maybe more. Alright. For these guys, they're weak to fire, kinda resistant to water. I wanna fight from here, so. Uh, get rid of Venom Coating and get this thing. Venom coating unfortunately will do nothing for the undead. Since they are so far away, the only ones in the fight are us and these two. There's another enemy here, there's another enemy there, and one over there. But they are too far away, they're not loading. Hoping for this guy to just rush into us. You, it is you. I have found you. Sometimes he takes a couple turns without doing anything. Again, this is kind of a risky move. I want to delay. I am a single droplet in the storm. Come to engulf you. No, he's not listening. So let's do one normal hit, haste, and now teleport, and this should be enough to break their armors. We can just knock down normally. Thankfully, I am immune to insults, so it can't do anything to me. It's just there being annoying. Alright, and those are the three guys we didn't get to see before. <coughs> I mean, before Dota I played StarCraft 2. Not like I was any good, but... If we're talking about APM.
I'm gonna switch to a fire one because this guy is resistant or rather he's weak to fire minus 20 this now I played Terran actually I'm thinking if I should stay down there, but I'm gonna drop this preemptively. I I remember back when I started. Uh, MMM was the way to go. I don't even remember what it was. Like Marauders, uh, Medibugs, and something else. Oh, Marines. Marines, Marauders, and uh, Medibugs. Shackles? Okay, I need to get rid of these eyes. Want to delay, but I can't. Dodging 767 is not ideal. We can do this. Okay, I need something not to to not die basically. So we can get one of these. I like how she's reciting a poem while he hits me. <laughs> Not full HP. When I get shackled, Why does he heal himself? Right. More of the small ones, so I'm full HP gang. Scanda resistant to fire, so I'm gonna switch, I think. Uh, water on fire, yeah, I'm gonna switch anyway. Questionable crits. Yeah, this is the same as the Salamanders. He can hit me with an opportunity attack. Because the hitbox for the petrification is 
inside him and the range for the Just do this. And the range for the opportunity attack is bigger. There goes my crit. Nothing particularly useful. Let's check on Salskar. Ah, you're back. Looking to add some Not weight to really. You would attack the Magisters directly. As you approach, Gratiana turns to you. Her moves are lighter now. Her voice is... It would be... As you approach, Gratiana turns... She's cited for Baldur's Gate 3 or Wasteland. Now. I don't her know what Wasteland is. Warmer, is. still tempered by the scene around her. But BG3 sounds good. It would be... If I were you, I'd stay close to Sir Gareth once the fighting mm. begins. Whatever path he takes will be the surest way to victory. Nothing good. Are you so eager we can to craft a few of this. Just you for safety. Stand against the shriekers. Not without stronger weapons than these. We'll find them, or we'll find another way. Not like they're broken or anything. Uh, let me get my head. Because this time I get the right one. Odd. A helmet seemed to stir just now. Top of turn base shoot their leg XCOM. Everything grows here. <laughs> Tall and strong. Join us. Keep thinking that I have to try XCOM at some point, but Gods, what is that? Never, I never get to it. My helmet just jumps every it is. It looks dangerous. Alright, this is the helmet I got from Bracus Ceremony. We're gonna eat swords three times, and a demon is gonna come out. We're gonna fight. He's gonna die. That's pretty much how it goes. Alternatively, I can teleport him into the shriekers, but I'll not do that. Let me switch this for that. Uh, nah, not really. I just need peace of mind. Oh, my helmet! It's it's getting tighter. As the source, hell, but not as sweet as the source you. No oil, really. Don't ever want to go there, but he's kind of baiting me. We're fine. Yeah, so you can teleport him into the shriekers and he will die. Again, we are not gonna do that.
He's got 25 uh, initiative. He's other than Radeka and the Worm, the fastest NPC. Aim for joy. Uh, he does hit pretty hard, so let's not let him do anything. I can get uh, the Shrieker. Are you so eager to die, Seeker? May Armadius grace keep us safe. Praise be! You have silenced the Seeker. Blah 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 blah, and they go. We can fight Ratiana now for items. I don't think she will fight though. She's supposed to disappear, so not a problem. We don't break the story or anything. Alright, so here is relatively simple. Get close. Uh, we'll get sparks in a second. Get close, grab the geist. Uh, fight one one. Geists are super, super dangerous. This they do <coughs> about a hundred damage with their auto attacks. They go invisible, they have backlash, overall really powerful enemies, so we're just gonna kidnap this one, make sure he's not in the way. Let's switch this one for sparks, I kinda, uh, where is it, this one, I kinda wanna get this one as well. <coughs> Alright, I'm gonna fully buff. Uh, timing for this is... I think I lost this. Uh... Okay, we're quite close. Miss! Oh, I don't usually come down here. Anyway. Uh, let me... Slightly dangerous, I can see the... I can see the assassin killing me right now. The whole point of this is to do some damage, bait them, on the first turn they don't have enough AP to do anything, they just walk towards me, and now I'll go invisible. Also you see me open the bag, because as long as you have a container open, your turn doesn't end. I kinda wanna get there. Okay, let's just do this. Beautiful colors. And now, hide.
They have to wing against the worm though. I can't do it alone. I'm gonna sneak here. That's a good spawn. Okay. best. If they start losing for some reason, they should be alright. But if they start losing, I might need to join and help. If the assassin dies before using his whole combo, we might have a problem. I'm just gonna stay here and do nothing. Okay, it didn't hit the assassin though. Kind of hurt. Okay, here we go. Adrenaline as well. No adrenaline. Mm. Unfortunate for you. Doesn't do anything. Okay, this is my moment. is what I've been hiding for. And here's the thing, he already used Blinding Radiance, this guy already used uh, Phoenix Dive. So 
Now I can go invisible and <laughs> wait a tiny bit. This guy's having some difficulties walking. How much damage can I get in here? This is very risky. Mm. Yeah, let's do something like this. Also, I should be using my points here. Basically, polymorph and three int, just for more damage. Fantastic jump. Ten out of ten. these colors. We got nine. We are not done here, but almost. Nothing on this office is gonna be good. Probably. Uh, let's go from here. It's a spot that you can stand over there. It's kind of. It's kind of in there, like, and you can jump over here easily instead of going all the way around. We're gonna go to the well now, get my face on. And we're gonna get five items. Again, just like with traders, we can quick save here before doing it. Not gonna bother. Uh, Where's my Hydro? So we got rain here. Oh. <laughs> mm, that stays there, I guess. The well is now, you see. We thank you for the We thank the... Late. All right. Something is true. The well is you. We have the special. The well is used. We have the special. Two hundred to crit, that'd be nice. The well is now used. Oh, the rocks. We have the special. The well is used. Oh, the rocks. We the special. Alright, so what are we getting? What are we getting? 
single handed leadership, perseverance, absolutely trash. Warfare arrow to summoning. This can be useful. Constitution bartering crit. I'd rather get the dodge. Thank you very much. Pyro necro. That's a maybe. Initiative dodge leadership and thievery. Okay, we can get rid of this. We can get rid of that. Uh, memory is not important anymore. We are done here. So what we got? A couple of a uh, couple of maybe rings. This one is better. Now let's check Saluscar real quick. Ah, you're back. <laughs> Looking to add some weight to your rucksack? Ah, uh, yeah, just out of curiosity. Twenty to everything, huh? Ah, you're back. Looking to add some weight to your rucksack? Nah, it's better the one I have right now. Alright, so let's do about 300. I don't care about the exact amount. Something like that. I get rid of this. Uh, This is like the kind of situation where I can't use Venom Coating because he's undead, can't use Sparks because he's alone, but he is undead, which means we can now teleport him, and he no longer has armor. And this is the same as the dragon before. This is my turn now. He's knocked down, I can delay. And I get more options basically. I can do this now. Because I couldn't do this before, he was knocked down already. And my cities will come back slightly faster. Again, he's knocked down. Use this. We're gonna use that. Where are my crits? Just to make it faster, we equip this thing. Stay on the ground. Uh, he dies. Anyway, even though I don't have physical damage per se, I can get some uh, in the form of healing.
we're gonna say hello one more time to Nebora. We're gonna get this. I'll I'll take it later. I don't have any attack. I think that kills her. Well, I guess when I'm coating. She looks at you with wet eyes and manages a win. She doesn't have money for this. Work. Good to see. She looks at you with wet eyes and manages a wink before returning to her work. Which uh, movement and fire resistant is actually better than what I have. Uh, this one is strictly better than the one to Scoundrel. Strictly better than the Necro. Like, not like a... Not like a great difference, but I mean... Just a tiny bit more magic resistance. And this one for Necro. Right, we could get one, we could get two. Equip this one, get this, equip that one, get that. I don't need this anymore. Right mind would think of a thing like this. Okay, that Ah, uh, we get some more money. I like this one simply because it's, like I said, 1 AP attack for, you know, finishing people off. It's really convenient. This one is a touch and this one needs uh, Necro. So for now, I can't use it. We'll use it later, most likely. If we use it at all. I haven't talked about this, but Commander of Tides has uh, Arcane Stitch, recovers all your magic armor, removes a lot of things. It's not very good. For one, I can pretty much recover 90% of my armor instead of 3 APs. Plus, it gives me it gives me physical armor as well. I'm trying to carry this. I'm I you. I'm. You'll have to have melody after you, darling. <sighs> so to wait. And uh I don't think we've missing something. We've done pretty much everything. We didn't get feather, but I never get feather, so that's fine. Let's go. Melody Gra God salt. And that is Fort Joy with a battle mage. Lord, gods. So many have fallen. It's uh, important to note. That I'm playing a solo character, we can get rid of this finally. His name was Kerbin. That I'm playing a solo His character, so I'm focusing him. way more on doing damage and positioning enemies and defensive skills. So if you were playing on a party about the same memory, 
way less wits and way more intelligence. Could be the way to go, I reckon. You probably don't care much about... I don't know. Invisibility maybe, not evasion for sure. The knockdowns, it's a maybe. You couldn't use Medusa head. Probably not chloroform. Any of those. It could be more or less the same, but you just buff outside of combat. Join in when your team is ready. And just do some heavy damage. That's more or less the play. Or you alternatively can use some of the... Some of the IRO touch skills, they're pretty good. Or fire if you want, or poison. Like, like I said, this is really flexible in what you can you can do with it. But we're going mostly for sparks damage and warfare skills. Alright, and this is where we leave it for today. I'm gonna go down to the to the mirror because this is where I always end and tomorrow I'm thinking if tomorrow are we gonna do another 12 hours short stream not sure not sure depending on how I feel alright everyone thanks for watching I'll see you guys next time have a good one